Hello, good morning. How's everyone doing today? Oh, hi. I'm doing pretty good. We're playing Yu-Gi-Oh. The Duelist of the Roses, that's what I'm thinking of. Let's go ahead and bump the game, get that started. I haven't tested it yet, so hopefully this isn't going to be like a big, a big oof. But uh, hey... How is everyone this morning? Hope you're all doing fantastic. Good morning, Ninja. Zero. Marie and Coco. Hope you're all doing great. New point redemption in the stream. Specifically for, you guessed it, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelists of the Roses. Um, so this is the uh, this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! I know. Um, I, I kind of fell off the series once they went to the second version of it. A card, a card, my kingdom for a card. Um, so this is the version that I know. The original version, right? The sacrifices and all that, rituals. But nothing so in-depth like X, Y, Zs and stuff like that. Uh, good morning, player two. How's everyone doing this morning? That's a pretty badass intro, huh? Oh my gosh, Gaia, Karibo, the Stone Guardian. Or Warrior. Oh my god, Dark Magician. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Black Luster Soldier! Oh! Intro. Whoa, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. The Duelist of the Roses. All right, I'm ready. Hey, thank you for the host, Marie. I suppose I should probably press start before. Custom duel, trade, new game. I guess we'll go new game. The British Empire in the 1480s, whoa. Am I supposed to press a button? Yes. <laughs> the Wars of the Roses, a power struggle between the houses of Lancaster, Red Rose, and York, White Rose, to decide a royal successor, was nearing an end. With the Yorkists well in the lead, the reign of Richard III was but a step away. Thank you for the host, Ninja Zero. And in France, Yugi, the last Lus Lancasterian heir was being forced to live a life of exile. The Lancastrian forces were rendered powerless by ancient cards of sorcery wielded by Seto and his seven followers who know who's who who, known as the Rose Crusaders, served under the flag of Lord Crawford, a powerful Yorkist nobleman. Lacking a duelist to champion their cause, defeat was imminent for the Lancastrians. 
In England, dual card games were still at the fledging stage. Thus, the Lancastrians had to look elsewhere for a dual master capable of facing the Rosen Cruz in battle. With this in mind, Margaret, my Beaufort of, La of Lancaster, secretly you requested a high druid to summon a duelist from another age. <laughs> I never learned this in history, that's true. Me neither. Whoa. <laughs> uh, it's Stonehenge! Guys, it's Stonehenge! Oh my god. Ooh! <laughs> Summoned from the mystic circle of red and white roses, this the one capable of harnessing pure power. There was truth the legend of the Rose Duelist. Lady Margaret, I I did it. Now we have the means for defeating the evil forces of Rose and Cruz. Oh, my apologies. In my excitement, I'd forgotten I was in the presence of the Rose Duelist. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Simon McMurrin, High Druid and Servant of Lancaster. May I be so bold as to ask the name by which the Rose Duelist would like to be known? Oh, that's me! Oh my god. Yemi, a fine name indeed. Happy Mass Vic Day. Thank you, Coco. I'm waiting for the big news, as you know. Well, actually, you might not know, because I didn't put out the podcast episode today. Hey! <laughs> now, here's the situation. The year is 1485, and you are currently in Stonehenge. In Stonehenge? Near Salisbury, England. The British Empire is in turmoil, with the House of Lancaster's rightful claim to the throne being challenged by the Yorkist usurpers. The power struggle is referred to as the Wars of the Roses, a name based on the badges used by both sides, a red rose for the Lancastrians and a white rose for the Yorkists. Right now, our kingdom is threatened by the Yorkists and their wrongful claim to the throne. All because the Yorkists Enjoy the support of the Rose Crusaders and their Sorcerer's White Rose cards. Using our Red Rose cards, we summoned you, Yemi, to this day and age. We hope that your dueling experience would defeat the Rose Crusaders. How's the audio, by the way, guys? Too loud, too low? And lead us to victory. You will help us? Of course you will! Foolish of me to even doubt your loyalties where they... whatever. Rumor has it that only the legendary duelist stands a chance against the power of Rosa Cruz. We appreciate any help you can provide against them. Uh, before I forget, before I forget that, I should warn you that the rules to dueling differ here from those of your age. Oh no. Here in England, dueling is governed by what is known as the perfect rule. In addition to several minor distinctions, there are two major differences. One is the existence of movement or positioning, the other is deck leader concept. These are two aspects of dueling that were lost in the process when the ancient sport of duel monsters was adopted to, to card form. The perfect rule represents these lost rules that were miraculously revived here in England. Perhaps a, a practice duel will serve better than explanation. Yes, yes it will. Please. <laughs> yes. I definitely need a practice duel. Okay, okay, it's a little bit different than I imagined. Let's start with the basis of dueling. First, let me show you how to summon a monster. To bring a monster into play, you must summon it from your hand to the field. Now let's draw a card from your deck. Dark Magician! Currently, the card you're indicating is your deck leader, the Dark Magician. Let's order your your deck leader to operate your hand. Oh my gosh. You can do this by selecting your deck leader, pressing the square button. See the blue square? That's the area where you can place your summoned monster. Let's place the monster in position directly in front of your card leader. Line up the cruiser by pressing the up directional button and then press X button. Okay, this is your current hand. 
Apparently, there's only one monster in your hand that can be summoned to the field. That's not true. Oh, I guess it is. This is because summoning monster requires a certain amount of power. Four. The spot currently indicate, indicated is where your currently available summoning power is displayed. At the start of a duel, you can have four summoning power points. This amount will increase by three every turn, and you can accumulate up to a maximum of 12 points. This is getting weird. When a monster is placed on the field, summoning power points are equal to the monster's level are expended. Your current summoning power is total of four. Okay. I get it. Hence, the only monster guard you can summon to the field is level four monster, the Celtic Guardian. Got it. The dark cards are the monsters that you are unable to summon this turn. Now let's summon the Celtic Guardian. First, move the cursor over the Celtic Guardian. I understand. Press the X button. At this point, if you wish to cancel your selection, press the O button. To enter your selection, press the X button again. You've summoned this Celtic Guardian and the card is ready for battle. Now let's attack your opponent with the Celtic Guardian. To control a monster in the field, you must first activate the card you wish to move. Blue-Eyes White Dragon. This Blue-Eyes White Dragon is your opponent's leader. Let's try to attack the enemy leader. Hey, Briar Lacroix. Man, my neighbor had this game when I was growing up. This is a... Yeah, I had this game when I was a kid. I don't remember being this in-depth. <laughs> first, let's activate your monster by lining the cruiser over to the desired card and pressing the X button. See the yellow square? This indicates the space where your monster can be moved this turn. Your opponent's card leader is directly ahead, so let's move straight into the space. Let's move your monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is not how Yu-Gi-Oh! is regularly played, guys. I had forbidden memories for the PS1, and that game was a bitch. <laughs> I don't remember that one. The Celtic Guardian advanced one space, completed its move for the turn. Monsters can only move once per turn. However, a deck leader summoning does not count as a move. Hence, the monster can move immediately after being summoned to the field. Since there is nothing else left to do this turn, let's end your turn. At end your turn, press the start button. From this point, it's your opponent's turn. Your opponent is summoning a monster and are preparing to attack you. Baby dragon. Now it's your turn. There's an enemy monster heading your way. Let's use the Celtic Guardian to eliminate the threat. To attack your opponent's monster, all you have to do is move your monster into the same space occupied by the enemy mon- Oh my god. I understand. Let's do it! You eliminate your opponent's monster and move one space closer to your opponent's leader. However, your opponent is now aware of your monster's strength and will probably bring a more powerful monster into play to reiterate. To retaliate, I apologize. Now let's take a look at the factors that govern the outcome of a battle. <laughs> oh, man. Here's how your attack is played out. Your Celtic Guardian was... I understand. I understand. They don't need to show this again. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah. As a result, uh, blah 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 blah. There we go. Now let's take a look at what might have happened if the opponent's monster was stronger. We don't need to do this. We really don't need to do this. Let's say your opponent has a Kamori Dragon in play. When you attack the creature, the difference is taking off of my character. Your Celtic Guardian is eliminated and you suffer 100 points to your life points. Thank you. Okay, what if the attacks were equal? What happens? What happens? Woo. They both die. Both monsters are eliminated and neither player suffers any damage. Now let's take a look at the defense positions. I just I just wanted a regular Yu-Gi-Oh game, you know. <laughs> Hard armor is a monster with a high defense factor. The card is currently in horizontal or in the defense position. The monster set in this position cannot move or attack. In battle, the defense of a monster in the defense position is used to decide the outcome. Although the defense of hard armor is fairly high, it is nothing compared to the attacking Celtic Guardian. Let's attack the monster. I think the GB. Yeah, I, I had a um, I had a Game Boy uh, Yu-Gi-Oh game when I was a kid. That was a lot of fun. I, I spent all day 
inputting my cards into the game. <laughs> hey, what's up, Mass Tech Gaming? How are you doing today? Hard armor is eliminated. Note that eliminate a monster in the defense position will not inflict any... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a ba it's basically kind of like the same thing, you know? Uh, now let's see what happens if the offending monster is Aqua Madwar. The card is... Yeah, I understand. I understand. I don't need this. This is a little bit too in-depth. Minus 600. Oh, dear me. Not too shabby. I'm not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. Your attack is countered, and the 600... Yeah, I understand. Since your attack failed, your attacking monster is driven back to its original position. Oh, no. What if you're attacked by Rock Order Ogre Grotto Number 2, whose defense is equal to your monster's attack? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Wait, he can't attack me? Oh, I was attacking him. Oh, my God. That, 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 I guess they worded that wrong. <laughs> Uh, though no damage is applied to your life punch. That concludes our lesson. Thank you. Now let's continue with the duel. Yes, please. <laughs> As you recall, your Celtic guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your opponent's leader is unsupported and defenseless, leaving it wide open for a direct attack. A direct attack is an ideal opportunity to inflict damage on your life points. Attacking a leader will result in inflicting LP damage equivalent to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try a direct attack. This procedure is the same as the setting up a battle between two monsters. Okay. Well, bam. You now have inflicted... Yeah, yeah. As you can see, it is important to avoid direct attacks as much as possible. Really? Hey, welcome back, P2. Yeah, I refunded everyone's points because the guitar stream's not gonna happen. Currently, you're winning. However, your opponent may ret retaliate. <laughs> with, this, with this in mind, summon a monster with high defense points. Let's use this monster to protect the front of your leader, since it has high defense. To set a monster in defense position, follow the same steps as... Okay. Now press the L1 and R1 button to toggle the defense. Yeah, gotcha. I just did it. Be careful that you don't move the monster to a destination space, as this will automatically set the monster into attack position. Gotcha. Wait! <laughs> It's doing it by itself. Okay. Note that the monster's cards, monster cards summoned on the field is initially placed face down and is hidden from your opponent's view. The card will be flipped face up whenever it attacks or is attacked by an enemy. You may also manually flip the card face up. To do so, select the card and for a move and press L2 or R2 buttons to toggle the card face up or face down. <clears throat> Once you have the card in the desired position, press X to enter your selection. It's doing it all for me. However, you should note that the face-up card cannot be returned to the face-down position. That's why you should be very careful when you manly turn a card face-up. Well, I didn't do it myself. <laughs> Your opponent has now summoned a Kaiser Dragon. Kaiser! A powerful dragon-type monster. You don't have a monster that's strong enough to withstand an attack from this creature. Fortunately, you do have a magic card in the field that's capable of stopping the attack of dragon-type monsters. How convenient. Where did this come from? Oh, I remember this card. In fact, this magic card is capable of preventing the movement of all dragon-type monsters on the field. Let's use the magic to stop the opposition and focus on continuing our attack. You can trigger a magic card by flipping it face up and completing this move. Flip the card face up in a manner described earlier. Let's try activating the card. Wow! Dragon Capture Jar. Well, holy moly! <laughs> Holy moly. Been too long, P2? Oh, yeah. Life gets in the way sometimes. The opposing monster's been neutralized with a magic spell. See, I just... I mean, this is just... This is all interesting, but... I just wanted a normal Yu-Gi-Oh game. <laughs> if a, a duel can go either way, at times you may find yourself considered... Cornered by a cunning opponent. There will be occasions when there's nothing you can do but accept defeat and go for a rematch. You may surrender a match by pressing the select button. It's doing it all for me. But don't give up too quickly! A well-played card could easily turn the tide of battle in your favor! That concludes the lesson on the fundamentals of how to battle in a duel. Hopefully things will simmer down a bit after the holidays. Yeah, I mean, hopefully. I'm just ready for this freaking electric to be over.
<clears throat> uh, now let's take a look at how a duel is settled. There are four individual conditions for deciding the outcome of a duel. <sighs> one condition is a... Yep, we know that one. I swear, if they show it. <clears throat> your opponent only has a total of a thousand life points. Oh, no! This tutorial is... <laughs> Alright. Uh, the damage, yeah, I get it. I get it. It, it went to zero because we are stronger. In this scenario, the life points of both players have 500 points respectively. Your opponent has a not-too-powerful Needle Ball monster in play. However, the monster has a special ability. <gasps> when the monster is eliminated in battle, it'll automatically inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent's life points. Strength-wise, the Celtic Guardian is far stronger than Needle Ball. Now, let's take a look at what happens. I, un I think I understand. I think I understand. Yes, and the first time your state got it wrong since 1944. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, we, I mean, even though Cleveland and Dayton and Columbus voted Democrat, uh, the rest of the state voted Republican, so. As you can see, the life points of both players have reduced to zero, resulting in a draw. This matter, the outcome of duel is aside after all the triggered effects have been taken into account. Be careful that you don't get dragged into a draw when you have a good chance of winning a match. Another condition that decides the outcome of a duel is the occupation of summon areas. The areas indicated in blue whenever you attempt to summon a monster are called summon areas. Okay. Oh no, if all these areas are occupied by your opponent, uh, you will lose the match. In a more specific, to be more specific, if your opponent occupies all the summon, I understand. If you find yourself surrounded, it is vital that you clear at least one of these areas before your turn is over. If your leader is in this position, that leaves you with only three summon areas. If you're at the edge like this, there are only a few summon areas, and if they are all occupied, you will lose. Depending on the terrain conditions, there are spaces that cannot be used in summon areas. In these situations, there are fewer summon areas, and if they are occupied by your opponent, you'll lose. Next condition for deciding the outcome of a duel is life point comparison, resulting from the clock running out on a duel. Woo, Yummy, what does Pot Agree do? Uh, you draw two cards. To be more specific, if enemies exist in certain areas, they will win. <laughs> I forgot to fucking change Nightbot again. I'm so stupid. Uh, the number of turns remaining will decrease by one following the completion of your turn and that of your opponents. The number of turns remaining reaches zero. Both players complete their respective turns and the outcome of a duel will be decided. I think we all understand. Opinion on an NFL team. <laughs> well, Maz, you need to tell me which team you want me to, to give my opinion on. <laughs> the final condition for winning is unleashing the power of Exodia, the Forbidden One. It is said that somewhere in this world, there are five very rare cards known as the Exodia, the Forbidden One, and it's four forbidden limbs, not including his penis. Individually, these cards are weak due to the spells that bind them. However, once these spells are broken, an unstoppable force is unleashed. Uh. Ooh, to release Exodia from the binding spells, the following steps are required. Tampa Bay. Hold on one second. First, Exodia, the Forbidden One, must be brought into play as your deck leader. Then you must position the four limbs in this of Exodia in the surrounding areas. From there, flip over the attacking position when you enter into your turn without any spells or controls preventing you from executing a normal turn. Exodia will be freed from your opponent and will face... Oh, oh, oh my god. Alright, got it. Exodia! Whoa! Just call me P2, I'm summoning Exodia with all my stupid draw it's cards. It's called Hentai, and it's, it's art. art. Well, well, Maz, if you read the description of the point total... Uh, <laughs> uh, so the Tampa Bay Bronconeers... Oh my god, alright, we're gonna talk about Tampa Bay before reading more of this. Uh, Tampa Bay is starting to come together, uh, even though they had a close game against the Giants last week. They were still really impressive and pretty dominant. Tom Brady gets too frustrated too fast. Um, he, 
he, uh, I mean, there's, there's, there's points in the game where he'll just start giving up, you know? And I think that that's just showing of how, how long he's been in the league. Uh, he knows when a defeat is imminent. And I think that, Br that Brady is kind of a, a, a little bitch because he just leaves without shaking anyone's hands sometimes. And it's like, okay, I get you. All right. Uh, the games that they've lost, they've been close, they've been close, so it's not like, you know, it's, it's, it's not like totally, it's not, it's not a, you know, a, 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 a lost cause. Bye, bitch! But, um, I think Tampa Bay is probably going to be in the playoffs this year, and, uh, I think that, I mean, I think the, the, the Brady era is, uh, still continuing pretty strong with some of these throws that he's making, stuff like that. They have a good, re uh, receiving core. Gronk has actually become, like, a player now instead of just kind of being on the field as a distraction, you know? And um, their defense is, is really good, too. Um, but their red zone offense has been struggling a little bit in the past few games. Um, that's why I have the kicker for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on my fantasy league. He's been giving me a lot of points because they haven't been able to connect all the time in the, in the red zone. So then they go for the field goal and I get points. So, you know, good for me. I also have the Falcons kicker who also does the same thing. So I, it's kind of like switching between the lesser of two ev evils. Um, and the running back has, has been a uh, uh, four net. He's been pretty good. Uh, he's on my fantasy league. So that's why I know um, when the Buccaneers are cooking, they're unstoppable. But when things aren't clicking right, they can be defeated on a close game. And uh, we'll see how it goes this weekend. Yeah, I think the Tamp the Buccaneers coach is, is good. Um, I I think that um, Belichick obviously could coach a little bit better, but he, I mean the Buccaneers coach isn't doing bad. You know, there are some decisions that you know Brady will be like, no, do this, and he'll be like, fine, go whatever. So yeah, all in all, I think the Buccaneers are in good position to do something, but they've also got um, some. You know, they got some uh, competition here and there, you know? And I think the Dolphins are my favorite team in Florida, but Buccaneers are there. Yeah. Uh, let's take a closer look at some of the other details and rules for dueling, guys. All right, here we go. First, you should be aware that there is a limited... There's a limit to the number of cars that can be placed on the field. <sighs> here is a situation in which several monsters have been summoned to the field. This display shows how many monsters you have in play on the field at the moment. I don't see where I said that. Each duelist can only place five monsters on the field. Any attempt to summon a monster that exceeds the aforementioned limit... Oh! Will result in the summon monster being reduced to dust! Likewise, only five spell cards can be placed on the field. You should take care to leave a summon area open so you won't find yourself in a situation where you're unable to play a key card. Oh. Now let's talk about the consumption and recovery of summoning power points. Summoning power points are required in order to summon a monster to the field. At the outset of a duel, each duelist has four summoning points. They've already gone over this. Hence bringing a level four monster into play at the start of the duel. I understand. You've already gone over this. We'll use a total of available so many power points that turn. So many power points spent in this manner will gradually recover as the time passes. At the beginning of your turn, three points will be added. Baby dragon. Okay, there we go. We got three. Points that are not expended will continue to accumulate. Twelve! Whoa! However, you will not be able to accumulate over twelve points. Even in situations where the addition of points would exceed twelve points, you will not gain points. Honestly, I think I understand the core basics of the game now. Thank you. Some monsters or spell cards can significantly help or hinder recovery of so many points. Okay. A. Now let's talk about spell cards that happen in battle. When, pl when placed face down and unused, your opponent will not be able to tell whether you have played a spell or a monster card. Like monster cards, spell cards can be attacked and can initiate attacks. What? What? 
A face up monster card is yours. Your opponent has a spell card. When a spell card is attacked by a monster, it's easily destroyed. But does it, it, it probably doesn't inflict damage on people, right? Although a spell card can easily be destroyed, it will never result in damage. Blah, blah, blah. Gotta run now. Packed today. Gotta, good to see Alright, good to see you, man. Um, we'll see you later. Have a great rest of your day, man. Complete the year-long tutorial. It's not done yet. Now you have a face-down monster card. In monster versus monster... Mm -hmm. I'm guessing your face-down monster card doesn't... Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Bye, bitch! Bye, bitch. <laughs> Let's see what happens when a spell card is used to initiate an attack. What happens? Tell me. Similar to when it's attacked, the spell card is easily destroyed. This is still the case even if a monster card is in the defense position. Well, then what's the point of attacking with a monster card? I'm sorry, a spell card. Yeah, I understand. Let's see what happens when you use a spell card to initiate an attack against an opponent's face down monster card. Oh, look. Okay, fuck off, man. This is so long. So long, Gay Bowser. What? As in the previous case. Oh, okay, got it. I thought that it showed me destroying it. You should always remember that although spell cards are capable of powerful magic, they can easily be destroyed. <laughs> you should move it carefully. Understandable. Have a great day. Now we'll take a look at what happens when your spell cards attack an opponent's spell card. The rules differ. Oh my god. First, let's see what happens when you attack an opponent's spell card with a face down spell card. Okay. So it looks like I'm taking it over. Initiate attack with face down will avoid getting the card turned face up. Okay. Uh, the fundamental rules of the spell card cannot be. cannot turn an opponent. Holy shit. Let's see what happens when a face up spell card attacks us. Mm hmm. It's in defense mode. How? What? This makes no sense. What? Wait, what? This time the spell card is activated. It's important to remember the conditions of it activating a magic card. A magic card is activated when it completes its move face up. Hence, regardless of whether a battle occurs, the magic card is activated since it completed its move face up. As a result, you should be careful about moving a face up spell card. Jesus fucking Christ. What the hell, man? Now we'll discuss terrain effects! <laughs> oh, the majority of these terrain features have their own unique energy force and often strengths and weaknesses of a monster. Let's take a look at an example. Huh. Right now, the Celtic Guardian is in a space where the terrain has no effect whatsoever. The result is that, is that both the attack and defense factors remain... Yeah, I get it. Now let's move the monster guard into a meadow space. Uh, in this space, the attack and defense factors increase by 500. Since this Celtic Guardian is a warrior type monster, it has an advantage. In this manner, whenever a monster is in its favorite terrain, 500 bonus points are added. I feel like this, like, it's making a potentially confusing game into a really confusing game. Another added bonus when a monster is in its favorite terrain is increased movement. If a monster stats starts its move in a favorable terrain, the monster can move up to two more spaces. The monster card has increased movement capabilities. Holy shit. When the monster with this mark is toggled to movement mode, the card is... <laughs> I just wanted a normal Yu-Gi-Oh game. Is that so much to ask for? I thought that it was. I remembered it being one, but maybe I'm thinking of the Game Boy game I played. Please note that the face down card is not awarded train bonus. Gotcha. This time, the Celtic Guardian is face down. Let's try moving the card. Yeah, I understand. Okay. I feel like if I skip now, it's gonna, it's gonna, I'm gonna miss something that was is really important. You know? I did not. Did you complete the training? I did not. <laughs> you can see that the as long as the card is face up, the movement bonus can be used. Gotcha. Over explaining. This time we have a dark terrain space. Let me guess. My who is that? It's a fairy type, which is not suited for terrain. When not affected by the train, blah blah blah. Now let's move into a train. I understand. Please. I understand. Since we're on the subject of terrain effects, let's talk about terrain with special features. First of all, there's the labyrinth terrain. Ooh. 
The labyrinth is an extremely powerful obstruction and cannot be entered by most monsters and spell cards, nor by a leader card. In addition, the labyrinth space cannot function as a summoning area. However, a card that has entered a labyrinth space by means of effects such as teleportation can easily exit the space and enter an adjacent space. You can also initiate an attack against a monster located in a labyrinth. What's up, Welsh Queen 69 This is more confusing than the- I know, it's definitely more confusing than the anime, and they fucking break the rules all the time in that. Wall Shadow has the ability to frequently enter or exit the labyrinth space. It is currently located in the labyrinth. Understandable. It's never gonna beat Yugi using the moon field card to move water. Yeah, I remember him also attacking the moon as well. Stone Soldier, attack the moon! The Flame Swordsman. Oh, it's my flame! It's Joey Wheeler! I'm the Flame Swordsman, bro! Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. that happens when the Flame Swordsman attacks. Let's see what, ha what happens when he attacks, huh? Wall Shadow. Got him. Is <laughs> as, <laughs> as can be seen, the opponent's monster is destroyed. However, the Flame Swordsman cannot enter the labyrinth. Jesus fucking Christ. Can we be over this? How are you doing, uh, Queenie? <laughs> they failed! You also completely forgot about your name. Yeah, I was like, wait, are you someone new from Wales? What? Crush terrain can be entered with no resistance and has no positive or negative effects on monsters. However, this area is infected with a plague that will attack and destroy powerful monsters. Specifically, any monster with an attack of 1,500 or more will be immediately destroyed? Oh my god! A monster is summoned in the crust space, moves into a crust space, is located in a space that is transformed into a crust space, or is a crust space when the either or your opponent's turn ends. Jesus fucking Christ. Since the Celtic Guardian, I understand. Celtic Guardian. Oh no, the flame swords- NOT MY FLAME SWORDSMAN! Whoa! Ah! We don't need to read all that, it's just reiterating everything. I'm doing good, thank you for asking. Now we'll discuss spellbinding. When a card is spellbound, it cannot be moved, flipped, or repositioned. Let's see what happens when the- <laughs> I understand. Oh no, right now the Celtic Guardian is unable to move. The turn count for spellbounding begins on the turn following the actual casting of a spell. Woo! There are situations in which spellbinding can last more than one turn. In fact, there's a very dangerous condition. Internal s- oh my god, eternal spellbinding! Which doesn't release the spawn card no matter how many turns may pass. At the moment, Celtic Guardian is held in internal spellbinding. Congratulations. <laughs> I understand. Please. It's very difficult to break eternal spellbinding. There are only a few monsters and spells that have the ability to free a spellbound monster. Aside from the aforementioned, the only other way to free a monster is to destroy it. Now let's take a look at the most common form of spellbinding. The, uh, oh my god, please, dear lord. Dear Lord. The Parrot Dragon is a wind attribute Pokemon. Pokemon? Oh shit. I've been exposed. However, the Cultic Guardian is an earth attribute monster, which places it in a more favorable position against wind attribute monsters. How is that? What? The advantages and disadvantages of attributes are displayed respectively during the battle. I understand. Okay. Where's my fucking scissors? Thank you. Let's see what happens when the Celtic Guardian attacks. I don't know, is he gonna, you know, destroy it because of bullshit? FYI, this stuff doesn't matter in the regular game. Oh, I, already, I still got destroyed, never mind. Oh, but it's spellbound. The, the weaker Celtic Guardian is destroyed, however, the opposing Parrot Dragon is now spellbound for one turn. In this manner, a monster of lower attribute that survives the battle is spellbound in a turn that follows. This rule also applies even if both monsters survive the battle, as in the case where monsters are unable to destroy an opponent's monster with an even high defense factor. And I, I feel like I'm reading this stuff and it's going right out my mouth. So. A, uh, a, tr a tribute. 
uh, difference can be effective when using a weak monster to render a stronger monster immobile. I forget how these work. Hold on. Oh, I remember now. Hold on. Uh, an opponent's powerful monster is in pursuit. You don't have any surprises in your sleeve as the leader is isolated, creating a dangerous situation. Dangerous. <sighs> Even under such desperate circumstances, a good duelist will be able to bide for time, believing in the summon monsters a chance of drawing a card that can turn the tide of battle. Your belief in the luck of the draw could be the key to winning a battle among duelists. This belief is referred to as destiny draw. I'm almost there, guys. Depending how desperate the situation is and how gifted you are as a duelist, you may be granted your the opponent the opportunity to attempt a destiny draw. It looks like victory may smile on you. This is your chance to draw your card that could turn the tables against your enemy. The destiny draw opportunity is a s signaled by flashing the area that is normally used to be indicated by... Oh my god. Drawing when this condition is indicated will actually result in drawing of a card that will help you in your current... WHAT?! Oh, so the bull the bullshit meter goes way up, huh? Take a look at the last card you drew. The card is on your far right. It should be a card that will bail you out of your current situation. Using this card wisely will help you overcome the desperate situation. Okay, we'll get the card opening when the tutorial is finished. Yeah, I'll, I'll open the card eventually. Uh, however, you should remember that the destiny draw depends on luck and only occurs once in a duel. When it might happen is anybody's Curse guess. You, Callus. All you can hope for is that the lady luck smiles on you when you most need it. Hey, Callus, how you doing? And that won't happen if your hand already consists of five cards. Oh no! If that is the case, you'll need to do is reduce your hand to the following turn in hopes of triggering the destiny draw. Is it over? The luck is the luck smiles upon you. All right. S D. A highly ranked card will demonstrate the special powers unique to its nature when the card becomes a leader. Take a look at the Dark Magician ranked a Field Marshal. At this rank, this card's special powers are extended support range, increased strength, the same type of friendlies, and weaken the specific enemy types. Holy shit, guys. What's Baby Dragon got? Show me! Oh my god, please. The Baby Dragon has the following special abilities. Increase movement and open opponent's card. What? Since there are various special powers that evolve for each leader's monster, we won't be able to cover them all. Thank you. Thank god. Don't understand the concept, let's- Oh, fuck me, dude. Oh my god. Alright, so, P2 redeemed, open a pack, we got a full, fresh box here. Yes, smells really good. This is the Speed Duels Trials of the Kingdom, the newest Speed Duels packs. Um, there is there is one card in here worth $22, guys. That's what we're looking for, okay? Baby Dragon has the power to turn any uh, enemy face up. Okay, gotcha. So we're going to do this real quick here. Let me just, let's just do it now while this is close. Celtic Garden is automatically turned face up, revealing the identity to your opponent. Alright, hold on. While the music plays, guys. P2, are you there? I don't want to open this while P2's gone. P2, are you there? Alright, hold on. You guys can just look at me while I go through the tutorial. Now, oh, yes! That's it! That pretty much covers all the dueling. Thank you. Alright, when P2 gets back, we'll open his card pack for him. Now loading. Player 2! Someone at player 2. Someone poke his bum hole. <clears throat> I can't believe this is still going. First, Yemi, you must select a deck to duel with. It is important that you feel the vibrations of a deck leader. Excuse me? The, f the minute resonates that ring. True to your soul. So much dueling. At the end of the stream, you're going to have a dueling coming out of your ass. The cards themselves draw their power from energies of the Ancient Ones. The deck leader acts as an intermediate between the Ancient Ones and the deck wielder. 
Yabe, it is essential that you select a card leader whose rhythm matches the strings of your soul. Here are several decks from which to choose. Give it some serious thought and make your selection. Choose carefully, for the deck you select will guide the destiny of your duels. Okay. Fairy King Tren... I can't even read this. Oh, look at this guy. Partition of Darkness. Twin-Headed Behemoth. I want to go with this guy, huh? Ah, you have selected your deck. Your deke. Hmm, so that's the effect of the Celtic Road Red Rose cards. It looks like there's some truth to the rumor that Red Rose cards are capable of time transformation. Who's there? Hey, P2. All right, we can open your card pack. Oh my god, it's Kaiba! It's been some time since Battle of Barnett, old one. All right, P2, we're opening up your card pack here. So, as I said, there's a card worth 22 buckaroonies in here. Now, I know P2 is about to go re, 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 because I don't know where my freaking, um, my, uh, my, 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 uh, card sleeves are. I don't know where they are. Hey, thanks for the host, cows. So, there are significantly less cards in these packs than, uh, ooh, this is one of my favorite cards, the, uh, Helping Robo for Combat. So this guy, he, if this card destroys an opponent's monster in battle, you'll draw one card, then return one card from your hand to the bottom of the deck. It's actually a pretty, pretty good card. Find your sleeves, son. All right, next up. The quality of the cards have definitely gone up. Uh, this is Sasuke Samurai. At the start of the damage step, if this card is face down defense position, uh, destroy the face down, wait, what? Start the damage step. If this card attacks a face down card, destroy the face down monster. Okay, so that's actually a really good one, too. I know you guys can't really see, huh? Got two more here. Uh, what's this? Two Tan Mask. When a spell or trap card is activated that targets exactly one zombie monster on the field and no other cards, negate the activation. If you do so, destroy it. That's good for people who have zombie decks, huh? And on the end, a sealing ceremony of situation. Once per turn, you can send one water monster from your hand to the graveyard, then target one card in your opponent's graveyard and banish it. Not too bad, huh? So nothing, um, well actually, I mean, we got some fun cards in here, right? Some good ones. Okay. Where am I going to put these? I'll just put them over here. All right, we're back. We're back. I said we're back. I forgot how fun it is to open up Yu-Gi-Oh card packs, but I don't want to get addicted again because then I lose tons of money. Although I did get like a $50 card one time. <clears throat> Only a member of the Rose Crusaders may call me by that name. If you may recall, I told you once before that you may only address me as Seto. Or does memory fail you, old man? And you, you must be the dreaded Rose's duelist. I must admit, there's a certain aura of power anim animating from you. I believe in introduction is in order. I am Seto, the leader of the Rose Crusaders. There are members of our little group who prefer to call me by the name of C. Ras Rosencruz. Please don't. I ask you again, what brings you here, Seto? Mind your manners, old man. What else would bring me here? I've come for the Red Rose cards. After all, it was you who showed me how the summoning capabilities would evolve when the Red Rose cards are combined with the transport powers of the White Rose cards. Dark Magician Girl? Oh yeah, yep, there you go. Also, what is the most expensive card in the set? There's a $22 card, um, which is called Parasite Paranoid. Parasite Paranoid. There's a $12 card called Ritual Ceremony. Um, everything else is pretty low, except I do know that there's one for $6 called Haunted Shrine. There's one for $18 called Floodgate Trap Hole. <clears throat> there's a lot of ones that are like close to the $8 range. Um, 
So we'll see what we get. Is it is in the set Okaiba? <laughs> You are thinking of attempting the Forbidden Rose summoning. If so, then the Red Rose cards must never fall into your evil hands. Card sorcery taps into the powers of the Ancient Ones. By the very nature, each card is a double-edged sword that can be cut both ways. The, ro ro the Red Rose... The Rose cards alone harness the tremendous power. There's no telling what horrors one might unleash to the world by combining both red and white. I will sacrifice my own life if needed to prevent uh, any from uttering the Spell of Doom. The Spell of Doom? Fool! The 16 red and white rose cards grant power over all. Druid legend has twisted the true meaning of these cards. We rose crusaders have sworn to create a utopia free from the ravages of war. We intend to accomplish this with the power of the cards. And we shall do so by extending the rule of Richard III throughout the known world. Ha! <laughs> Just Google her. Ooh, Callus... Callus, uh... By the way, it was clever of you to form a circle of red roses within the white roses barrier to summon the rose duelist. But you were foolish to come alone, this area is surrounded, and if you wish to leave with your life, you will do so only by handing over the red rose cards. Me, a fool? Then what about you? Are you fool enough to actually believe the red rose cards would remain here in my possession? Right after the summoning, I had the cards dispersed among our best duelists to keep them away from you. Tra tainted hands. Then you leave me with one, but one option. I shall enlist the aid of your precious Rose Duelist. <gasps> you take leave of your senses. Excuse me for dropping in. Excuse me while I go open up an incognito tab. <laughs> and you speak too soon, old man. Heed my words, Duelist. If you wish to return your proper time period, you will require 16 cards of the red and white roses. The red and white positions must be laid out in the reverse of the summoning order to send you home. You know the spell? Since you need the 16 rose cards just as much as we do, I propose a partnership. Help us gather the cards and I shall guarantee your return after we achieved our ultimate goal. An absurd proposal. Do you think that Love the that. Honorable Yemi would even lend an ear to your ridiculous proposal? How are you doing today, Punisher? Thank you for joining. Can you be so sure, old man? Let me see. Simon's side has eight of the red rose cards, while my side, the Road Crusaders, has possession of the eight white rose cards. As the numbers are even, simple arithmetic indicates that you could side with either of us. But I'm sure you'll take into account who's winning this war, after all. Who was desperate enough to summon you in the first place? I think it's quite clear which side is better positioned to send you home. Y yummy Heed not the words of this! This power-hungry lunatic! Simon, must you resort to name-calling? I'm hurt. I'll tell you what, why don't we leave the decision to you, our dear duelist? After all, Simon, the duelist's future is not for us to decide now, is it? Well, yes, but... Splendid! In keeping with the tradition of the old temple gardens, I offer you a choice, duelist. Here are two roses. The white represents me and the red for the old Simon here. For the sake of justice, choose the red one. Stand by my side, Julius. Choose the White Rose card. Alright, guys. <laughs> Who are we going with? Kaiba? Or Simon? Today, I don't know, but how was you so far? I'm good. Can we, can we do a vote? How do we do a vote? Let me go to Twitch here. Hold on. I want to do a vote. How do you do a vote? Uh, creator channel, right? Or dashboard? Um, uh, poll. Okay, manage poll. New poll. Alright, here we go. Question. Alright. Who should we side with? Red or white? Okay. It's gonna be for uh, two minutes. Two minutes. Starting now. Uh, um. I don't want to allow additional pull. There we go. Okay, is it going? Is it going? Yes, here we go. Alright, so everyone vote. Vote, 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 vote. 
Punisher were either siding with the side of evil or the side of good. White is evil. Mods can do it? I mean, you're a mod, aren't you? Let me guess, it's gonna tie, and I'll have to choose myself. They ain't gonna wait forever, guys. I usually go white when playing uh, Magic the Gathering, so I'm choosing that. Ooh, got him. And it's tied now, three to three. Kalos is playing Magic the Gathering? I played that for a little bit. It's tied! LOL. Sully, what do you think of ties in the voting process? Mm. Yeah, me too. Me too, for sure. Mm. Why'd you do it again? Oh, he's extra. He's extra. Stop the count. Well, the count has stopped, so... I haven't played Magic the Gathering. I demand a recount. It's still going, right? It's almost over. We have like a few seconds left here, guys. Will the Ferret Nation ever stop tying the votes? You can rely on it. Thank God. If only Greedy Waffles was here. Alright, it was tied! All right, um... Um... I don't know. What happened to, uh, Greedy Waffle's taking a break from social media, so he deleted everything. Like, actually deleted everything. All right, first person to say a color in the chat. First person to say a color in the chat. Here comes the blue. Wonder what pushed him over the edge. I don't know. He doesn't. He hasn't responded to me after that. White. Look at that. White has won. Coco's white technically counts, but he spelt it wrong. Alright, we're going white. And there's the obligatory orange, pink. Uh. Alright, we're starting with white. Kaiba. A wise choice, Duelist. I see you are well versed in judging a situation. Welcome to the Rose Crusaders. I am honored. Okay, old man, it's time you made yourself. yourself. what? Yourself sacrifice? What? What are you doing? Stop! No! Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. I just need you out of the way until everything is settled. Now, let's talk about the Red Rose something. <sighs> Does White Deck have White Magician Girl? No, it doesn't, actually. I don't know, actually. Simon mentioned that he's spread the cards among certain individuals just after summoning you. I think it's safe to assume that a large number of those individuals are his confederates currently located in France! Oh, wee oui, wee, oui, chef. I would like to ask you to enter France from Dover and retrieve those cards for our cause. I would go myself, however I'm needed here to maintain our barrier against any invading forces. According to the legend, one must use a deck whose cost is lower than an opponent's to capture a rose card. What? Oh my god. Remember, a deck that costs lower than that of an opponent's is the key. I've also heard somewhere that the Celts inherited their red rose cards from the original inhabitants of Stonehenge. This would mean that our enemy, Yugi, who comes from a line of Welsh nobility, would likely have inherited one of the red rose cards. Uh, player two, you didn't tell me something. You didn't tell me something about your Welsh culture. This means that those who oppose the Rose Crusaders are sufficiently sufficiently equipped to duel against us as equals. This music is slapping. I was waiting for this. <laughs> Given their desperate situation, they will retaliate with everything they've got. It would be wise not to underestimate them. I'm depending on you. Okay. Can I play the game now? Hooray! I'm not sure what's going on. Okay. All right, this reminds me of, uh, oh, it's, um, it's, um, Tay. Windsor. Man, we're, we're going through the UK. The Rose Duelist, you dared to betray the hopes of Prince Yugi? I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Oh, boy. 
Here's another waifu for you, Callus. So Yuki is Welsh. Alright, it's our first duel without strings attached. It's only took us an hour! It took us an hour to get to this point! Oh my god. Mate, if you don't beat Tay, then there's something wrong. Oh, please. Oh, please, P2. Please forgive me. I don't understand, um... Okay. Okay, here we go. Bong, go to Holy Jail, Coco Gamer. Ooh, got him. Wait, I didn't want to move myself. Uh, hold on. Hold the phone. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what happened. Why couldn't I summon? That's why I just wanted a normal Yu-Gi-Oh game. Come on, man. Come on. I'm, I don't care. The dancing elf. Coca Gamer just sent himself to horny jail. Alright, this oh, this time stink! This time oh he says I stink even though he just sent himself to horny jail. I get it. So I don't wanna move. I wanna pull up my deck. Summon, okay, square, summon. Okay, we got it. You think that's fucking funny? Okay, here we go. So we have the Doku Roizo, the Grim Reaper. Able to move and attack without triggering an opponent's trap. Limited range. Okay. He's uh, got 900 attack and 1200 defense. 1200 attack and 800. Ooh, this guy's actually pretty good, huh? I want to. I, actually, I want to. Um, let's summon. Why is this one only two? Damn, son. What's up with him, huh? He's a warrior type. Warrior types are good in um in the in the yeah in grassland. So let's uh, let's summon him. Make sure you read the instructions. I did. I read all the instructions. I read every single one. Okay, end turn. Excuse me? I'm sorry, what, what? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what did I just, what did I just witness there? Oh, I see how it is. Oh, you're going into the mountain range, I get it, I get it. Maybe I should move. I didn't know you could go onto the mountain ranges. Summon. Oh, look at this. Look at this dude. <laughs> Hi, how fair are you in this game? Which side are you playing? What's up? Uh, Yuyana? Is that how you say your name? Uh, we're playing on the white side. The white rose side. I, uh, this is our first duel. And it's, it's kind of, um, kind of confusing. Not gonna lie. But I'm sure we'll understand it eventually. Damn, dude, this person's summoning every single card they have. Effect activated. What's the effect? Holy shit! Alright! Whoa, what the fuck is happening here? What? <laughs> 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 
damn, all right. Jeez. Yeah, just rub it in. <laughs> this game is so much fun. It's really confusing. Um, game over, yeah! Holy hell, oh, man. So what, what was that effect? Damn, it has 1,800? Cancels all power increases or decreases of an enemy monster in battle. Does not cancel bonus effects such as terrain or leader ability effects. I think I've already lost. <laughs> Holy shit, a Rooney. I don't have anything that can defend against that. How do I... Hold on. I can't put it in defense mode? I should be able to put it in defense mode, right? Hello? Oh, 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 oh no, no, no! <laughs> there we go. Let's just keep that right there for now, huh? How about that? Battle me! Oh. Dark Assassin versus Orion the Battle King. Holy shit! <laughs> this is my first time playing, yes. Dude! They gave her, like, these amazing cards. This is my first duel, and these cards have 1,800 for a level 4 monster? No, oh, my assassin. My ass-assin. Dude, this is brutal. Holy shit. No, it's a level 5. Oh, she summoned a level 5. You stupid noob! Okay. Well, damn, son. All right. <clears throat> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Does it really have to do this every single time? I just... My Grim Reaper can't handle all this love. Oh man, Evil Laugh Gaming. It's been a while. How you been? How are you, my dude? You can take... Oh, you can turn off battle animations. Holy shit, dude. This is my first fucking duel and they're doing all this crazy bullshit. Come on, man. Come on, man. I got nothing. I have nothing. I guess I should have, uh, put it... I don't know anymore. You know, it's... This is bad. I don't understand. This is my first fucking duel. How am I gonna beat this game? I don't know if it's... Sh if I should come with tips, or if you want to figure it out. I just... I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm open to tips, but I just don't understand, like... This is my first duel, and they're pouring on, like... All this... Look at this! 2100? I have, like, nothing, you know? I have a... I have a... I have a zombie dragon. One of my favorite cards from my own personal deck. I have a lot of these boys. We'll keep him in attack mode.
This should can't. This should. Oh, wait. No, this. Yeah, this should just be equal, right? You're good. Super busy with work. Yeah, I understand that. You can fuse monsters. Different fields give you different power. Monster powers. Like. Yeah, I understand that. I guess we. I guess because um, that ball of love was uh, on a mountain range, you got 1,800 attack. Uh, fused monster. So, if I have... Wait, did I just... just how did I win? Hold on, what? Oh, it's because they attacked me. I get it. Okay, I, got, I understand. I understand. I've won my first battle, guys. I won my first battle. You see these sweat stains? Oh, you can't. Okay, never mind. That's a good thing. <laughs> oh no, my trial of nightmare. I really want to... Can I just skip it? I can't skip it. There we go, okay. Oh, excuse me. Spellbound. Yeah, dude. What do you got here? 13... 2100. So... How do I... I don't... Like, look at how low attack my cards are compared to what they have. So how do you combine cards, though? The fusing in this game is weird. I have... They didn't even teach me fusing in the tutorial. That's kind of bullshit. They didn't, they didn't teach me fusing. An hour tutorial, and there's still more. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, the tutorial didn't teach me how to fuse cards. Or what justified fusing cards. Don't I have, um... What about spell cards? Do I have any spell cards? You select the cards you want to fuse. Unless I don't have any that can be fused. Okay. Yeah, it looks like maybe I can't fuse any of these cards, huh? I may just have to surrender on this one and try again. I feel like fusing is the one thing that they really should have taught me at the end of that tutorial because they, because Tay did it, and guess what? She has like a really powerful card on the field that I can't beat. It's easy not to fuse. I'm just bad at explaining. You have to go to the detail. Transform to Larva of Moth when... when okay, can, I don't have a Cocoon of Evolution, obviously. No special info on this guy. Nothing on this one. Well, I, I mean, I remember fusing... I fused... Oh, whatever. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna surrender. And we're gonna try again. I'm just saying, the first duel of the game should just go over the basics, but without a helping hand, you know? Like, stop the AI from doing these fuses and stuff like that. First, you put your cruiser on the car, then press the up direction button of the chosen monster. You do the same with the other chosen monster and press X to confirm the combination. They didn't even teach you that! Oh my gosh! How, how am I supposed to know that from the tutorial? An hour-long tutorial, and they didn't teach you the entire basis of the game! Is it because- is it because I'm Dracula? Is it- <laughs> Okay, so... Press up. Gotcha. Oh, a violet crystal! Okay. Under- okay, I think I get it now. 
So, we want Zombie Warrior and this guy, right? Can I choose more? I can choose... What? what? Actually, I don't think I get it. Combine. Okay, if I combine these two... That didn't have that didn't work. That didn't work. What happened? What happened? Now I lost the other card. What happened? Okay, so you have to know which cards can be fused or not. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Uh, of course, she's probably going to the mountain range. Hold on, let me summon... The Violet Crystal. This should power up... Yeah, increase the power of zombie monsters by 500 points. And I think I have a zombie on the field, right? Right, is this a zombie card? Oh, it's Fiend. Oh, fuck me. Alright, we'll just keep- we'll keep that face down for now. How about that? And let's, uh, move this forward. Putting out another card. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm not doing what I accidentally did last time. This is rock. This is plant. Dur plot. Um. I'm going to skip summoning this time around, and we're just going to. this forward, I guess. You Googled it? Oh, I, yeah, that's yeah, that's probably the best way to do it, huh? <laughs> oh, I didn't know you could attack from the side. Oh, I'm defeating this dude. Petite Angel. Fuck you, Petite Angel. See ya! Game devs. We're thinking an hour-long intro to explain the game Big Bosses. Hmm. Will you show all the answers of the game? Devs, pretty much. Well, everything apart from the most OP way to win the game that they'll learn really quickly about their first two ever. Sounds good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Luigi time. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and summon our stone... Ghost. And we're going to go ahead and... Kill Petite Angel. I want to see the attack of this this coffin. Let's see what this coffin does. It should have a sword, right, or something. It's oh my god! Look at the big oh. bitties. Jesus! For playing a game that I used to play all the time as a kid and used to speedrun as a teenager. Damn! Thank you for the five bitter runies. I appreciate that. I'm sure once we understand the mechanics of the game, we'll enjoy it a little bit more. Right now, it's just kind of a little frustrating. She has another Petite Angel? Okay, so now... We'll move our Rock Boy up. Yeah, that's what I'm quickly learning. <laughs> How are you doing today, by the way? Oh, look, a fusion. Because, you know, the, the AI just knows every fusion in the game automatically. Oh, look! It's the OP monster that we couldn't beat last time. Holy shit! It has even more health this time. Maybe because of Petite Angel? This is Tay. She's a pushover. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> zombie plus plant. Rock plus warrior. Zombie plus fiend. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Petite Angel has a special... Revives in... Oh! Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Fly. So can I? Um. Okay, so try monster type plus random monster type until you find out what works. Yeah. I'm using a speedrunner's deck. Am I? Well, I just like I just like um, zombie cards. So if we combine. A plant with a zombie, you said? Zombie plus plant. Well, we should... Uh, this should... Although, this guy is pretty powerful. Zombie and plant. Der plant. Please work, please work, please work. What? Ah! Oh! I'm surrendering. Start over! Plants vs. Zombies? That was a great mammoth and gold find. That actually equals your heavy hitter. Of course, I fucked it up. Plant plus a zombie as long as one is over a thousand attack. Okay. Well... I'm pretty sure both of them were over a thousand. The start for this deck is pulling one or two Pumpkin Kings in face-up defense. Oh, the strat. I'm sorry. And enjoy while last, Tay. If that is your real name. <clears throat> uh, then all your zombies monsters get boosted every turn. 100 for each Pumpkin King. That sounds good. Not gonna lie. I wish I could do it. Ooh, a uh, Curse Breaker. We have a machine guard? Okay. Insect. See, here's a zombie. And that is not a plus 100 insect. Calm down. What does that say? Sh Sheen? What's this one do? Cancels all spellbind and power increase decrease effects. Does not cancel any bonus effects involving terrain or leader buildings. What's this bad boy do? Transforms occupied space into wasteland when engaged in battle. That's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and put him on the field. And we'll move him up a space. So that's a... Okay, so... Yeah, okay. No problem, Cal. Shadow Ghoul is your zombie trump card. It can walk through Labyrinth. Dispel basically negates all card effects and attacks. Yeah, kind of like a dispel and... The actual game. Okay, Der Plant. This one, see, this one has a thousand, and this one has sixteen hundred. So why, if 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 I try and combine these two cards, I'm one of these cards going. So if we mix these two, it'll make Pumpkin King. He doesn't have a labyrinth, so Shadow Bull is useless. Okay, gotcha. So, I, I, yeah, let's go ahead and... There we go! Oh, it worked! Oh my god! Pumpkin King! He's beautiful! Look at him! While this card is face-up in defense position, all zombie monsters are increased 100 points at the start of each turn. That is fucking fantastic. And we'll face him up. Oh, thank God. All right. We've done something right. The long strat for this deck is five pumpkin kings. Gotcha, gotcha. In 15 turns? Damn, son. Now, I just need... I need a zombie card, though, you know? Let's see what we got. Hello, zombie. Another zombie. Let's see what, what does this one do. When this card is flipped face up, all your monsters are transformed into zombie monsters! Holy shit! When this card is flipped face up, all shadow specters are increased by 300 points. I don't have a shadow specter. I don't know who that is. Should I hold off using this, or should I use it now while my other guy is there? So, I'm, I guess, um... We'll... Because these cards are terrible. Holy shit, these cards are bad. Let's put this face down on the field. There we go. Ooh, 
blue-eyed silver zombie, you, you flip face up when you have monsters that aren't zombies on the field, but you want to be boosted. Yeah, so do the monster guards have to be face up in order to uh, transform them? Alright, so this should turn my zone into a wasteland, right? Spirit of the Harp. What 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 a what a bitch. <laughs> yes, look at that. Okay. So yeah, my attack was increased enough that that was destroyed. Okay. Power increase. Okay. While this card is face up in defense position, all damage to life points is reduced by half. Okay, that's 1400, not enough. Pumpkin King is getting boosted. Oops, I don't want to move. Hey! Skull Servant! I know this guy! Let's, um... Okay. So... Let me look at the details again. Let me read that again. When this card is flipped face up. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Flip this face up. There we go. And this guy... I can move... Oh! Look at that! There we go. Effect activated. Beautiful. Okay. Why am I... I oh, uh... Okay. Oh, keep him face down. Uh, usually you'd wait until you have more monsters on it. Yeah, I missed my first time. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Why is she moving those cards away? Oh, she moved, okay, she moved that. 1400, 800, 2100, 1000. So let's go ahead and summon... Phantom Ghost, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and summon Phantom Ghost. And we'll move him up. and move him up too. So I can't I can't take that out. No way. Is that that's a mountain. Huh? I'm wondering what that is. It might be a uh, spell card. You can fuse monsters in your hand or discard cards the same way. Oh okay. Get rid of the insects. I will do that next time. Keep blue eyes near you. When you get a plant, set it on top of him for another pumpkin thing? Oh, damn. Fucking star. Oh, man. Okay, so... Hold on. Summon... An insect, you said, right? This is an insect. He's he's a he's higher than one thousand. So this should work, right? I wish there was a way to just go back, you know? I wish there was a way to just go back. One turn. God. <laughs> sucks so much. Plant works, not insect. Oh, plant! Oh my fucking god, I can't believe I'm so. St I'm stupid. It's a it's a problem that I have. I need to flip this guy face up so he powers up.
just discard cards you don't want. In the final card, you select do something that you do want. Just be wary of that refuses and select them accordingly. So that should be powering up. That should, right? Increases the power of zombie monster by 500 points. It didn't do it. Or at least I don't think it did it. Hmm. Do I need to put that on top of a monster card? Discard two insects and draw in two new cards. You should have selected your two insects and then the violet. Oh my gosh. Oh man. This is so confusing. Discard. Yami! Transform a surrounding two spaces area into a dark terrain. Let Yami be your last gosh. Okay, okay. There we go. Okay, gotcha. Take out this stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Has 1700 now? Oh my god. I guess I should move it up two or three spots and flip it. Summon a plant. on the insect, or... Oh, shit. Hold on. Oh, on the zombie. I gotcha, I gotcha. Oops. What happened? I accidentally pressed X twice, and it fucked me over. Congratulations. I can't believe it. Come on, man. Seriously? Trap! Oh, man. Tears of a mermaid. Great. They shouldn't... They should... That should not be a thing. <laughs> Come on. Seriously. And now I can't... guy up, I guess. I can't believe it, you know. What's this one do again? All spellbinds and power increase defense. Okay, so let's... Look at that. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so if we move this guy back... Do I have any plants? I don't have any plants. <laughs> Whoopsie. Can I summon... Let's summon the clown. Hell yeah, man, Dark Clown. Fuck yeah. This, can this, I can't attack. Wait, I thought, I just thought the spell break thing. Okay. I guess I don't understand, huh? Oh, mix your man with him a zombie? Oh my goodness, okay. Power increased. Okay, so... I'm trying to see what I have here. So I could mix... On top of this one, right? Mammoth. If five monsters... So if... I could, I could fuse these together, right? I have a zombie on the field and I'm about to throw the mammoth on it? Or is that... Or am I thinking wrong? There we go. All right, beautiful. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, let me move this up. There we go. So we have... So I want to take out this douche. <laughs> Cyberstein! I don't need to see that. Take him out! Yes. Thank you. Alright. Now. I move my clown up a space here. Can you move that there? Run your insect over with your mammoth. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I was seeing what this card is over here. Uh, looks like, uh... Looks like it might be defeated anyways. <laughs> Motherfucker. Okay, well, you know, whatever. He did! Only minus 50. Yeah, I just... He just took a minute, so... <laughs> Power increase. The sun. Ray in temperature. Cancels all power increases or decreases on an, of an enemy monster in battle. Does not cancel bonus effects such as terrain or leader ability effects. What an asshole. Seen the news yet? Uh, no, I've been crying myself to sleep right now. <laughs> uh, okay, so, let's see what we got in our hand now. Oh, we have another Great Mammoth of Gold find. Should I just play that? Yeah, let's just play this, right? Might want to check Twitter. Okay. Let me, uh, is it Mass Effect Remastered? Trump this morning tweeted his lawyers would hold a news conference of four seasons in Philadelphia, deleted it, then reissued it specifying it's a four seasons total landscape. What? <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, Mass Effect. <clears throat> a veteran team at Bioware is in the early stages of developing a brand new Mass Effect game. That's it? Okay, Mass Effect Remastered is, is releasing next spring. Next spring?! They should have released it today! <laughs> uh, move it to Violet Crystal, okay. Well, that's good news. Good news all around the board, huh? 
Okay, so... There we go. Increase that by 500. So that's how that one works. I got you. Okay. I got it. Crass Clown. I don't remember it being called Crass Clown. Hmm. Put that up by one. The election is over. Biden won. Oh, you were referring to Biden winning? I don't think, um... Let me see. Hold on. Joe Biden is the projected winner. That's all I'm seeing, though. Atlanta poll worker in vile vi viral video was discarding list of instructions, not ballot. Of course, you know, all this crap. Uh, can Trump's legal challenges change the election? Very unlikely. Well, if Biden won, then that's, that's good news. Thank goodness. So that means Pennsylvania officially... Let me see, election results. Yeah, Pennsylvania officially went uh, blue, and it's above 0.1%, so... Trump can't force a recount. And he also took the lead in Georgia. That was tied for the longest time. Nevada is still counting polling ballots. 99% reporting in Georgia. That should be done before the end of the day, hopefully. Trump gained a few percentages in Nevada, but at this point, it doesn't matter. Biden has won, so that's good. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's been a long fucking week, man. I don't... I don't... I, you know what? I shouldn't get political, but, man, I'm so happy. So fucking happy. But, you know, this is gonna be drawn out, you know, for months, you know. What was I doing again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so... I'm not sure if I want to try and attack this card. Now, let's go for it. It's in defense mode. Oh, fuck. Wing Egg Elf. What a, what a bitch. Has 1,600, so we need to wait. So I'm minus 100. That just, yeah, that just locks my card. Gotcha. At least now we know what it is. This is, uh, this is live footage of Trump right now in the Oval Office. <laughs> And this is actually, this is live footage of, um, of, uh, Biden right now. Ah, uh, yeah, you have to be 18. 18 to vote. Uh, they changed that during the Vietnam War because, uh, there were, there were kids getting shipped off to Vietnam who couldn't vote. And, um, everyone was like, yeah, that's not, that's not good. <laughs> My son can go to Vietnam and die, but he can't vote? What the fuck? You know, that's, that's that was the main thing. How powered up is this? 1700... 18, oh, oh, hold on now! My crass clown is gonna get his... his due here. Literally, I just have to wait for that to power up. It's gonna be 16 here soon, hopefully. Oh, yeah? I don't know if, they're, if, they're, if they'll do it that low, because, I mean, 16-year-olds are still in high school. At least with 18, you know, you're, you're they're kind of out of high school. Alright, so I should be able to take out this ray of fucking sunshine here. Huh? I hate that. I hate that. What the fuck, dude? That's it. I'm I yeah, I'm fucking this bitch up. Get the fuck. You have to leave statutory education here in six, at 16 so it's viable. Well, that that makes sense, huh? Yeah, here it's uh when you are... When you're 18, you should be getting out of high school. That's the... 18 is like the last year of high school. So. 
I can't believe that I fucked that up so bad. I, I guess I should have uh, remembered the, uh... Okay. Should have remembered the effects. Should have remembered the effects. So, if I put this here, that decreases my power, obviously. My, my clown... Oh, I can take out this dude now. Here we go. Come on, baby. I don't want to see... He should be dead, right? Wing, yep. Goodbye. See you later. Smell you later. And now I'm going to move my clown... Oh, he's been powered down. Uh, he's a little bit... A little bit less... Well, they haven't... Uh, I'll move him here. How about that? We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And then this dude... Oh, wait. I just moved him there. Never mind. Never mind. This stupid sun, though. This stupid sun! Alright, we have, we have 12 points right now, and we have... So we should... Oh, I have, um... I have Saggy the Dark Clown! Um, this is an Aqua card. Okay, yeah. Uh, gee, huh? So, I want to discard. So, I want to discard this card. And. And. This card. And if I make this my last card. Okay, I think I, I, think I get it. One, two, there we go. Okay. So, we're gonna put that on the field. When this card is flipped face up, I don't have any more Shadow Spectres right now, but I would like to... Nope, 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 nope. Change it to defense mode for now. And we're gonna move it... I should... Oh, I can't move it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, very slowly, very slowly I'm learning these mechanics. Uh-oh. Wait, they're equal, aren't they? No. Ah, oh, fuck. My zombie clown, or crass clown. Okay. I need to, I need to take out that, that thing that's powering all these guys up, you know? So we're going to do that first and foremost. Power increase, thank you. So, Great Mammoth. Well, hold on, I need to see your effect before I do anything. While this card is face up, yes. Yeah, so. Take you out. I want to see this battle, because I'm, I'm sick of this bitch. There he goes! Damn! Damn, son! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Take it, take him out. Boom. Okay, so now... Okay. This guy is 1,400. My dude is 1,800 now, but that's in defense mode. I don't wanna... Oh, I can move this guy twice. Ah, fuck. I didn't notice. My bad. Let's see what we got in our hand now. Do we have a plant? Do we have a dragon? A winged beast and a machine. So... It's too bad that, uh... It's too bad that... We already used our silver boy, so we can... Let's go ahead and we're going to discard this guy, discard this guy, and place this guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, ho, ho, whoa, whoa. Fuck. Well, it was the worst card anyways. It was the worst card anyways. What we just learned, we learned that dragon and spellcaster combined to make another monster. That's okay, that's okay. 
It's okay. making more sense now. It's making more sense for sure. Yeah, try it, bitch. You fucking moon monkey bitch. Get the fuck out of my face. Get the fuck out of my face. Get out of here. Get fucked. Yes! <laughs> it's starting to make a little bit more sense to me. We've had some we have we've had some help. Soul of the pure. Recovery of life points. Two hundred. Oh come on! Oh come on! Come the fuck up! All right, we got our bird. We have our gold. Food. I'm moving him to here. Hemming and hawing. If I go there, wasteland should increase my uh, my damage. We're gonna move birdie boy. What is in my hand right now? We have a fiend. Oh, holy shit. Statues of the Eastern Isles? Holy shit, guys. I have a warrior and a machine and a fiend. Does a fiend and a machine make a different uh, Nick a fusion? For some reason, I feel like that's a thing. Yeah, oh, uh, hold on. Now, let's go one and two, so we don't accidentally delete our better card. I used to I used to have Woody Phantom in my own deck. Maximum number of monsters on the field. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, fuck. Wait, I have one, two, three, four... Oh, yeah, I do have... So, maybe... Okay, so... Yeah, we can't do anything yet. Let me, like, what if we combine... a zombie and a fiend? No, okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> I tried my best. That's all that matters. Um... That's all we can do right now. Okay, yep, smart move, smart move, yep, yep, okay. Yep, smart move, smart move. See, now would be a good time to take out my, uh, my dude. So I'm gonna take out the winged egg of new life. I don't want to see that egg. I don't want to see it. Don't even, don't even show me it. I don't... <laughs> Are you getting Mass Effect Legendary Edition? Uh, I will get the remastered versions for sure. So Wasteland... Sh yes! Oh, fuck! 3,400. We've kind of boxed him in a little bit, unless he moves this out of there. I think we are in a good position. I, I'm sorry, I just called her a he. I apologize. I'm hemming and hawing. What did I get? I just took him out of the area. Oh, uh, zombie. Okay, I got a zombie. Okay. Will the egg hatch into Dark Magician Girl? No. <laughs> oh, you see, if this person was smart, they would have moved that card out of the way. Oh, you're an idiot! Oh no, okay, I see. Okay, she's take- she took over the card! Um, okay. Let's take out this. Oh yeah, he's weak as fuck. Actually, that was a real close matchup. I thought- I only- I only saw the 800 there. Holy crap. 
We got we got lucky there. We got lucky. But luck is on our side. Luck be a lady tonight. I could have attacked. Uh, I keep forgetting that you can have multiple moves in this game. I apologize to all the Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there. This version of the game is just confusing me so fucking much. <laughs> what do I have in my deck? Oh, right, okay. Go to Horny Jail, Callus. But you just said you wish, so you should technically go to the Horny Jail, Coco. This time I'm not gonna forget that I can move twice, okay? That's that's my that's my big thing. Yeah, there you go. Callus has, has retaliated. <laughs> I can attack twice. No, I can't now. Maybe because I was on the wasteland slot. Okay, gotcha. If we do this, it should be game over, right? What's this do? Oh, wow. Another fucking real close match up there. Take them out. I think we just did a we just did a win, right? I think we just won. No, it's because there's still um, a slot available for her to summon on, maybe? All right. I feel like this should be game over, but never mind. I understand now. Move that that way. Move this that way. I mean, we're about to wreck this dude's life, huh? Thirty. She'll have. I think she'll have fifty left, if I'm not mistaken. Or twenty-five. Hey, we we did it! Oh my god! Oh. Oh! Yes! Oh my god. Oh man. Holy crap, hold up, man. Alright. Alright. Whoa, graveyard slot machine. We got an egg. We got a fairy. Got another fairy. Wing Egg, Dancing Elf, Tenderness. I don't want any of those cards. All right, as at, for celebration purposes, we're gonna open up a Yu-Gi-Oh card back from Speed Duels, Trials of the Kingdom. All right, my. I guess I lost. It pains me to know that I lack the strength to protect my lord and love. Whoa! We obtained a rose card. Rosebud. Hemming and Hine. Tristan! Hey, Tristan! Hold it! You're the one they call the duelist, right? Aren't we all? If you want to go any further, you have to face me and my crab walker strategy. What is he? In the gen? Oh, wait, I didn't. I wanted to just look at my uh, deck. My dick. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna just. I'm not opening it yet. I'm not opening it. I'm just getting it ready. I want, I want to, uh, look at my deck. I want to make sure there's no bullshit in here. I did not technically lose. I just, I wanted to do something else. I didn't know that it would automatically start the duel when I moved spaces. Alright, so, system. Oh, shut up. Deck? Here we go, deck. Okay. Whew! Okay. So... You stupid noob! Hey man, I'm sorry I can't stay. Hope you have an epic stream. Sent you a DM when you're free. Alright, see ya, um, player two. Thank you so much. Also, thank you to Chaos Dueler 93 for the follow. I I know you. I know you. Um. Oh, P2 wants a pack. Okay, so we'll do we'll do two packs. Two packs. So what's in my deck right now? I'm guessing this is all in my deck. I'm so confused. Yeah, I mean... 
I guess my deck's fine. My dicky's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and open up two packs. One for beating the duelist and one for player two's redemption. Got it. I'm excited. I like I like this I like this deck. Or these cards, I should say. I love the speed duel cards. First up we have Change Slime. Look at this dude. Huh? He's a pretty fun character. A slime that can morph and adopt the shape of any size of any monster it chooses. How much attack does it have? Only 400 attack, so fucking worthless. As usual. Hold on, what do we get here? <sighs> Mario Kutai. During your opponent's turn, when your opponent activates a spell card, a quick effect, you can tribute this card and negate the activation and destroy it. That's actually pretty good, too. It's a water type. That's so weird. I feel like that should be a zombie. Oh, uh, we got another one of these. Don't care. And on the end... Flint Block. Let me read that here. Uh, once per turn, you can target one flint in the spell and trap zone. Equip it to this card. During your main phase, you can target one flint. Equip to this card and one face-up monster in the field. Accept this card and equip that flint to the target monster. This card can only be equipped with one flint while equipped with flint. This card is unaffected by the effect of flint and cannot be destroyed by now. What the fuck? <laughs> what the actual fuck? <laughs> it's a pretty decent card. I don't know how it works, though. And we're starting to like this game. Uh, we just beat our first our first duel after much trial and error and after much help from the chat. All right, let's go ahead and open another one. I got my wig for your Nat Natsumi cosplay. Very cool, very cool. Can the slime shape, slime shape a star? And a no, it cannot. <laughs> now we're opening up another fresh pack here. Y'all are going to restart my Yu-Gi-Oh addiction. Oh, look, we got another flintlock. Oh, we got a new one. Cyber Raider. He's a fiend. This card is summoned. Activate one of these effects. You can either equip the card on the field and destroy that target, or equip card on field and equip that target to this card. Okay. Uh, we got another one of these doofuses. And on the end, we got a crazy fish. <laughs> a flying fish that attacks with its pointed head. It's actually not too bad. It's a four... It's of level 4 with 1,600 attacks. So it's actually a pretty good card if you, um... If you transform it into a zombie like I like to do. I love the zombie stuff. I'd rather see Coco in a Nats Natsumi cosplay. <laughs> what? Okay, so that's uh, that was the two openings. Thank you for the Redemption Player 2. I like opening card packs. We have a box, so I think there's 32 in that box, right? And we only did three now? Alright, we're in London! We're in London, Randy! <laughs> London. Okay, so this, this field looks pretty crazy. We have Mount, we have Forest, Meadow, Sea, Wasteland. Oh, ho, ho, ho. dude. Oh, you're, you're fucked. Wasteland and Dark are on his side of the field. Well, I guess I'm kind of fucked too, because I have Grassland here. All right, let's uh see what we got. All right, we have a plant. And a warrior, so nothing really good there. Let's go ahead and put this on the field just to kind of start. And we'll put it in defense. Oops. I keep forgetting which button. Which. Okay, so defense mode. We have a zombie and a plant, so that should make what we want, right? But we need to wait until we can, we have more summonings available, huh? Let's go ahead and just save up. 
All right, see ya, uh, Marie. Thank you for joining. Talk to you later. So that's a rock. Maybe I shouldn't have put the rock down. Okay, one, two. This should combine and make a pumpkin king. Yes, okay, there we go. Pumpkin king. So we're gonna go ahead and flip him and put him in guard position. <clears throat> we're starting out strong. Starting out strong. Okay. So he's been he's placing more and more monsters down here. Actually, I guess we don't know. Oh shit! It increases his zombies too? Excuse me! We have a dark clown. We have a Zanky. Oh, uh, if we put this guy on the grassland... Yeah, okay, he gets increased attack and defense. Uh, and if we move him here, he's probably gonna lose it. Yep, okay. So, if we put this here... Yeah, I, just, I wanna move him up. So I can't put him back in defense mode. Keep him there. Okay. So it's actually um, kind of a bad thing that this guy has a zombie in his deck. We don't really know what it is until. This. Fiend's Hand. When destroyed in battle, it destroys the opposing monster as well. That's really good. Let's go ahead and summon him. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have summoned him here, though. Ah, uh, fuck. Shouldn't have put him there. Shit. We still have a warrior and a rock type on the field. Der plant! We got a plant! Okay, we just need a zombie now. Oh, I just moved the zombie out of range. Ugh. Ah, idiot. I'm an idiot. Gotta be full of fucking monsters, man. Okay. Whoa, you idiot! Maybe not an idiot. Two mouth dark ruler. Oh, he's dead. <clears throat> if he does that. Um. Move this back over here. Plant should should fuse. Now, if I'm wrong about this, I'm gonna be really mad. Okay, thank you. All right. Whoa, what did that make? Holy, what? Wait, well, hold on. What was that? Excuse me? I just spat. When this card is flipped face up, all wood remains are increased by 500. What? Okay, so I. Uh, oh, it's, it was because both of them were below a thousand. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. That is... That was... That was it. Okay. I'm gonna move him... Actually, no. Don't move. Don't move. Cancel. He's good. He's good for his act. It didn't even try an attack. What? 
I keep increasing his card. Damn it. Alright, what do we got in my hand here? We got another insect, a basic insect. him to attack the uh, Easter Island bastard, but... Alright, so this is what I want to do. One, two. So we'll discard that one. Put that there. And we'll move this up a little bit. It still has 1,400. It's probably getting a boost. Probably boosting all his cards over there, and I can't boost my own. So it's like, well, well, fuck you. <laughs> Although, oh, yeah, I'm gonna keep Zanky here until I transform all my cards into zombies. And so far, he only has one zombie card, and we know it's that card that he just moved, right? Because it keeps. Yeah, try it, bitch. I, I dare you to try and knock down the Easter Island statues. You stupid asshole. <laughs> See ya. I love it. I love it! Power has increased. Okay. I just want to see what's in my deck. Saying saggy, saggy clown. I wish. Um, can you fuse a? Sp Hold on. Maybe you can fuse a spellcaster and a. Um, oh shit! Maximum number of monsters in the field. Well, I should be able to take that out, right? Hold on. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Go by. I, uh... Unfortunately, I probably should have... I'm gonna move him up again. I'm gonna keep him there because he's helping me there. I'm gonna keep Wood Remains there for right now. I'm gonna end my turn. Yeah, I just found out. Crazy infamous? I didn't just find out. Uh-oh. Uh, yep, he's a little bit better than me, huh? Yurabi? Well, that clears up space for my monsters. That's a good thing. That's a good thing for me. I need a Yami. I need a really do. What do we got? Oh shit, I didn't. Uh... Okay, so let's. I don't think this is gonna work, but I just want. I want to discard uh, Sagan. <laughs> Sagan. Crash Crown plus any reptile monster equals a Soul Hunter? Hold on, hold on. Any reptile. I don't think I have a reptile. So let me let me not do that. Let me not do that. I, I could still I could still summon the grass clown. I would have to wait for a reptile though. Do I even have one? Oh, okay. Well, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna discard, discard, and summon. One, two. That is going to help. Oh, my cyber soldier. There we go. Let's move him up there. Good, good, good. If this guy tries to attack my soldier, he will most certainly lose. I'm going to put him in defense. Sir. I'm going to keep that there for now. That's good to know, though. 
Clarass Clown plus a Reptile equals Soul Hunter. This guy is preparing some sort of fucking major defense here. Eventually, I'm gonna get all my zombies together and we're gonna be like, hey, it's me and the boys. <laughs> I got a beast. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Increases the power of warrior monsters of dark, fire, water, and wind by 500 points. Hold on, hold the fucking phone. We got, we got one right here. Warrior. Oops. No! What did I do? What did I do? What? Why didn't that work? It should have combined the two. Why? Why? That would have worked in real life. <laughs> Just saying. In the real game, that would have worked perfectly, but now I'm fucked. Now I'm fucked. Fuck me, dude. Come on. Who the hell is this guy that he's trying to attack with, though? Do I have- please tell me I have, like, another warrior card. No. Shit! Well, I guess I, I should just knock that out and put my Shadow Ghoul in. That was so stupid, dude. Man! Why didn't that work? Why did, why did it do that? Oh, you're trying to fight me, huh? Oh shit, he's gonna win. <laughs> I didn't notice he had 2,000. He must be... Oh, because dinosaurs uh, are affected positively by wasteland. That is right. That is absolutely correct. Okay. I got a machine card, of course, you know. Hold on, let me... Let's see, I have one, two, three, four on the field now. So I can... Uh, excuse me, Spellcaster Beast Machine. No dose. That should be... That should be something, right? Oh, a mystical ghost. Oh boy. It's actually really not- it's- it's like it's a hundred better than the fucking last monster I had. <laughs> very good, very good, okay. Oh boy. I need to draw... How do I discard cards? I guess you can't. You can only do it the way that we've been doing it. I move shit. Okay, Shadow Ghoul there. Move Wood Remains there. Okay, he's bringing those back. And he's. Oh, shit! Urabi is actually lower now, so I... Uh, hold on, let's see. Dark Clown... Okay, Dark X Clown X is not... Nothing's really... Uh, okay, so I need to attack him right now. With my Shadow Ghoul. Okay. That works. I don't know what this is yet, and I'm kind of uh, scared to do it. Okay, so let's see. We got a fiend, a winged beast, 
still do not have... Uh, okay, so... Let's discard... This, this, and we'll put this on the field. Well, Crass Clown is actually better than this dude, though. Hold on. We'll put this on the field, how about that? So, Crass Clown gets fucked. Machine combined? Okay, hold on. Uh, it was, it was a little bit weaker than the other thing. So, what did we just combine there? It was a beast? And a machine. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, it all... I guess it worked out of it. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, we're just... We're just having fun! <laughs> I don't know if I want to attack this yet. Especially because... Well, my Pumpkin King's pretty strong, so I'm not... I don't think I'm gonna do anything this year. he doing? Mm, he's just letting, he's just keeping him there. He must have a bunch of spell or trap cards. That's the only thing I can think of. Okay. Wing beast. What's this? Ooh, a koozie! I know this one. Inflicts 500 points of damage to the opponent's life points. Gotcha. The dimension hole. Transports your leader to the space where the card is activated. Okay, that's, I don't need that right now. But I would like to summon Bukuzi here. And we'll go ahead and flip it. Or Ukazi, I apologize. There we go, minus 500 directly to his life points. So that puts me in the lead. That's a good thing. I'm gonna go ahead and move this here. I'm not pulling my. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. That's that says something right there, huh? Hmm. He keeps powering up that car. <laughs> this skull stalker it reduces opposing monster by 300 points when destroyed in battle okay a warrior combined with a winged beast might be something is I could do one one two three no. oh those fuse of course they do uh, it wasn't really that great of a card anyways I'm gonna move this over here I'm gonna do it. Oh, what, what was I scared of? Although he did get a stat boost from the land, I'm pretty sure. Okay, 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 we're doing okay. I need to see what this is. Oh, I just, I just moved that, that's right. Let's go ahead and end our turn. Power increase. Um, it might be close. Oh, fuck! Damn, dude! Shit! 
Holy... God. <laughs> Hello there. Hey, Lukester, how are you doing today? Good. Jesus Christ, how do you get so high on much health? Alright, hold on. Uh, let me move Skull Bird out of there. And I need to put... This Violet Crystal down. I could power my Pumpkin King? Hold on. He has 3,400. So, yeah, let's go ahead and... Power up the Pumpkin King. There we go. So now he has 37, so now I'm actually above him. So no matter how much he powers up, I should win that fight. Not bad, happy to be here, trying to be a Yu-Gi-Oh! Mastery. I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying my best. <laughs> Magical Ghost, let's move up. End our turn. So now we know what that dude is. <clears throat> the only thing that kind of sucks is only my Pumpkin King can really defeat him. And I need to keep him in defense position. Hey, Randy! try and attack the heart of his defense here. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I really can't power myself up until I get onto these wasteland spots, and he's at 4,000, so that's, that's no bueno. Oh, what? He, wait, hold on, he's at 4,000. Yes, because he's being powered up by the wasteland. Oh, mama, mia, papa, he, uh... Uh, yes, I did do that. Yep. Uh-oh. <clears throat> what the fuck? Mystery hand! I hear magic cards can give monsters more power. Yes, sir. Some of them can. There we go. Minus 1,400 for him. <laughs> So what I need to do is I need to force him to, um... I can't keep this right here. I need to force him to... Move up. I'm gonna keep him there. Alright, so Great Mammoth and Gold Fiend. So let's go ahead and one, two, three, four. Just discard all this shit. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. I need I need I just need to redo my deck a little bit. Not my deck. My deck. So essentially, he sh should let's move this here. If he moves up, then I can move this to the side, and Pumpkin King might be able to take him out. Oh, wait, wait, wait! He had two moves? Oh, uh, why do he have two moves all of a sudden? Sorry, Shadow Ghoul, I wasn't paying attention. Well, that just means that I can use my Pumpkin King to smash him into oblivion. If 
these. Because he's at 4,000. He's... Okay, yeah. Take this, you son of a bitch. This will work. Uh, I want to see this one happen. I... I am so sick of this dark partitioner thinking that he's so good. My Pumpkin King is about to blast him into the next dimension. Oh, does that smell? He's like, yes. So much so that I have died. <laughs> Gif. Finally, that asshole is off the field. Okay. So, do I, uh, I just summoned uh, this guy, right? Yeah. I'm gonna move him up. I'm gonna move the magical ghost up. He gets a boost. My wing dragon of raw. We're gonna move this up. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, end my turn there. The pumpkin will need to be... Uh, Put back to defense mode so I can keep leveling up my my care my uh, guys. Whoa! What is up, midget gamer? How are you doing today? Thank you so much for the riggedy riggedy yeah! raid. Welcome in raiders. Oh, we did it! We pulled the yami. Oh! With the with the with the power, the power of of Midget Gamer, we have pulled the Yami. Oh my goodness, we've done it! Holy shitaruni! Okay, how are you doing, Midget Gamer? Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and we're gonna mute my desktop audio for a little bit so that we can, of course, do our raids. You guys know how this works. Exclamation point emotes, exclamation point Randy, exclamation point Satan, exclamation point uwu, exclamation point gamer, and exclamation point um, uh, hard! Yes! Give Midget Gamer some love and the people who raided with him. Lukester and Sigma plays. Let's do this! Right? Now! Uh-oh! I fucked up! I fucked up! No! I pressed the wrong button! Keep it going! Keep it going! I fucked up! Keep it going! Let's go! Let's go! Keep it going! I pressed the wrong button on my stream deck! RIP! Oh my god! Alright, redo! Redo! Forget that that last part happened! Now let's go! Thank you so much, Midget Gamer. Can I get a shout out for Midget Gamer, please? Also, what were you playing? How'd your stream go? I hope it all went swimmingly. We are currently locked in a duel with Tristan, and things are are happening. Oh, he's trying to do a sneak attack. You see that? Power increase. Unfortunately, your sneak attack is not going to work. All right, let's pull out Yami. That's going to transform the entire area around me to dark, <clears throat> which helps a lot. 
Um, also, I need to... I need to pull a card back, unfortunately, to... Actually, hold on, I have one... Okay, I have a guy here, that's right. Let's see what's under card number one here. You're playing Count Le Luke Hop Canor? You finally reached the ending. I didn't expect a lot of horror transformations in the game. I'm doing good. I'm doing it. Oh, that must have been a magic card. That's good. That's good. Go ahead and try and take this out. Whoa. Okay, we beat this one. The fire kraken. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking, Midget Gamer. We're, uh, we're starting to enjoy the game now because we kind of understand how the game works. There's a little while where we were just kind of like, I don't know, just couldn't, couldn't get it done. Alright, so I'm going to pull back the Great Mammoth of Goldfin. What did I pull? What did I pull? What did I pull? Nothing that great, honestly. We should be able to combine these two to make another Great Mammoth of Goldfin, right? Or Goldfin? Yes. Beautiful! Bellissimo! Oh! They're getting fucked now! <laughs> oh, yes! They're starting to get scared! Look at them! Look at them! Starting to get scared! This game's similar to Pokemon and Digimon? This version of the game is... I don't... Um, It's probably similar to Digimon, I think. <clears throat> Personally, I haven't played Digimon a lot, but I can tell you that uh, it may share some similar qualities. The, this this version of the game is much different to uh, to any version of Yu-Gi-Oh I have ever played myself. <clears throat> Okay, so we can't place any more cards on the field because we have five, right? Yes. <clears throat> so we are going to go ahead and end our turn. I missed a call. Uh, Greedy Waffles causing trouble. I started watching the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime on Netflix, and it's good. Yeah, <clears throat> the first uh, two, seas two seasons are probably my favorite. Uh, once you get past the Duelist City, it kind of went a little bit downhill for me personally, because there was all like this crazy stuff where they go into like the, the video game and stuff like that, and I was like, oh, kind of weird, but what are you going to do? <clears throat> You you also need to remind you remind yourself that this is not exactly how the game is technically played <laughs> when you're watching the anime because they'll do things out of turn that's like yeah that wouldn't have held up in uh, in a court of law. <laughs> I'm gonna try and box this doofus in here. Oh, shit, where'd this dude come from? Alright, we should be able to, uh... Yeah, okay. Wait, we can combine, um... Zombie and Insect, right? Oh, we breached a maximum number of cards on the field, though. Shit! Well, we'll just have to take the L on that. The Court of Yu-Gi-Oh! Law, that's... Yep. And some of the voice acting is similar to TMNT in 2003. You think so? <coughs> Excuse me. I have a tickle in my throat here. Let's see what he's going to do with this card. Okay, he's going to try and go around me. See, what he's trying to do right now is he's going to try and box me in. 
it's not going to work. Oh yeah, this this guy's fucked. <laughs> Amazon of the seas. Uh, where's where's Bezos? Okay. Move up. Okay. If a monster gets boosted by a train, you can flip it over and move extra spaces. <clears throat> okay, that makes sense. That's why uh, the other one was able to move. Yeah, I mean, Pegasus, Pegasus sounds similar to Splinter and Tristan. Really? Or, I'm sorry, Tristan like Raphael. Hmm. Yeah, Pegasus is, like, one of the best characters. Like, they really, uh, they really, uh, outdid themselves with Pegasus. Really, he's, like, the best, uh... Alright, so I need to attack what's behind me. Oh, okay, uh, so... Some beautiful beast trainer apparently, uh, is able to boost something on these characters. When she's flipped over. Oh, shit! Uh, probably shouldn't have done that, dude. I think you just lost. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> He's trying to go around my fucking pumpkin with a monster who has so much less attack than me that I won the game with one attack. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's funny. Oh, get wrecked. You absolute moron! Okay, I want to try and get one of these hands. I got a Yurabe. Fuck me. Oh, yes! I, uh, nope. I got a Kaiser Chief. No, I did get a hand. Okay, never mind. Yurabe, Mystery Hand, and a Sleeping Lion. Okay. What a moran. <laughs> Thank you for the GGs. We did it. We beat Tristan. We beat him. We gave him the old one-two buckle my shoe, you know? Alright. I don't believe it! You beat the crab out of me! And we got a rose card. We will be moving on to... I'm not sure where. Canterbury! What happened to the sounds? Oh, fuck! No one told me that my desktop audio was still muted? Ah, oh, man. Alright, mystery hand. Let me see what this is. I don't know what I'm doing. It doesn't, doesn't really give you... There we go. Special info. When this card is flipped face up, if there is a Jigen Bakudan in the adjacent space, tell what the fuck? It's a Jigen Baguda. Hold on. You didn't notice until now. That's that sucks. All right, so I can move this. I want to take out one of these... Alright, yeah, I want to take out this guy. There we go, we moved him over. There we go. Right, Mr. Hand should be in the deck now, right? Yeah. <laughs> the living vase! Everything else in here does not work with my deck, so... Although Yurabe may... He is a dinosaur... Yeah, we'll keep him out for now. You can also re-challenge Duelist to be able to earn more copies of any card <clears throat> you knock out during the match. Yeah, I noticed that, yeah. Uh, I should, oh, 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 I want to save. I don't know if it's saved. <laughs> ever. <laughs> I got a voicemail. 
Save complete. That was a long save. Oh, boy. Hold on. I think this is from my mother. Let me, uh, let me listen to my... Go ahead and uh... wait. I guess I'm fighting Tristan again. Oh my gosh! <sighs> I was trying to move ahead. I don't want to do the same battle twice, though. And I. Well, you know what? Fuck it. We need we need more practice. Okay. We need more practice. So we have three a beast of warrior. We have Uzaki. No problem, Kalos gonna be American. Okay, so we've gotten the first hit now. Goldbird. Disc Magician. <laughs> I just wanted to discard a card there. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have. Uh, maybe I should have um, gotten a few out of my deck there. Cause I need a zombie and an, an, an um, a plant. Dark plant. Right, we have a few zombies here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boop, boop, boop. There we go. Oh shit! <laughs> All right, that's something new. What the hell was this guy? A beast. Okay, so we got. Okay, I mean it was a good move. <laughs> yeah, boy. In the end, it was a good move. And he gets boosted by the forest. Okay, that's that's good. I'm gonna keep this one back for a little bit. He gets boosted by the forest. That's pretty good. Show me. Let's see. We have a mammoth graveyard, which can, can be combined with one of those. So we're gonna uh, we're just going to skip this turn. I wish there was a way to just be like, discard everything. <laughs> discard? Oh, I do have an insect. That's not good. We'll just, we'll wait a turn here. I'm hoping that he decides to attack. Yeah, nope, he did not. Well, if he moves forward at this point, I could still take him out. All right, so zombie and mammoth. That back, move that over. Really? Okay. Nothing. 
nothing amazing. Uh, Alright, I want to take out, like, all these cards. I'll keep, uh, the Frankenstein's monster. Whoa, Warrior and Rock combined to make that guy. He wasn't good, though. Uh, well, he was better than... Nah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. I'm gonna keep this guy over here. I'm not going to attack him. And you can combine cards to make monsters even more powerful. Yeah, in this game only, not in the regular, like, anime. Well, I guess fusion cards, technically, but... You know what I'm Actually, that's not good. That's good. Who do I have over here? Skullbird. I forgot about you. So now we have four monsters on the field. We have a fiend, we have a dragon, we have a fiend, we have a zombie. We need a plant. We need a plant. Insect. I'm just gonna take out... Uh, oh, hello. Okay, I remember that. Why me put face down the tricky opponent? <laughs> Are you just reading the instruction book at this point? <laughs> What'd they say Crass... Who, who said Crass Clown can be combined with something? Oh, fuck yes. Duels of the Roses. Hey, what's up? It's Mr. Castle. How are you doing today? Nice cultist emote. Mm -hmm. I don't remember who Crass Clown can be combined with. I think it was any warrior? Any reptile. Okay. Any reptile. I don't think I have a reptile in me. Reptoire. Oh, he tried to attack me there? Okay, very good, very good. We did that. Uh, we have insects galore. Holy shit, we don't need these. Increase the power of warrior monsters. I don't have any warrior monsters right now. What I want to do is I want to just take out all this shit, honestly. There we go. I'm gonna keep that there. I don't know if I want to attack. Yeah, let's go ahead and attack. Let's see what it is. I have 2200. He has 1750. Sorry, Leo Gun. You're about to get Leo shot in the fucking face. <laughs> Take a lap. There we go. I'm gonna keep him there for now. Yeah. Can the Nightbot emote command be changed? Uh, yeah, I'll do that eventually. Zombie and dragon equals dragon zombie. Oh, do yeah, that's right. That's right. All right. So yes, Derplant. Yes! Alright, we did it. Okay. One. Two. Oh, shit, I need to wait another round. Okay, we can wait one round. I want to pull uh, him back. Back. Um, let's pull him up. Okay, so now, through the power of good fortune, we can now finally make our Pumpkin King. Wait, hold on, that's not gonna work. We need to do one, two, there we go, okay. So we can knock out the other zombie, and then we can fuse these two together to make our Pumpkin King. 
I love this game because it was in the era where Yu-Gi-Oh games were jank as hell with all their rules. Well, yeah, this one for sure. This one for sure. Okay. Now all I need is for... Is for that stupid silver eye creature. Silver eyed bat or whatever, you know? Oh, he, did, he didn't actually attack with the... Okay. Hmm. Show me the bat. No? Oh, we do have a warrior card, though. So if I do this and this, they should come... Okay, don't combine. Well, it fucked me anyway, so whatever. Damn it. Crush card zones, though. I remember those fun. Yeah, I, I, I'm not. I'm, I am dreading that. Yeah, I don't know why it auto modded that. So, I apologize. See, I, what I don't want to do is have this be devalued, and then he attacks me with that. I'm gonna... I'm gonna push Skullbird up. We got another stupid plant. Honestly, I think I should wait. What's this one do again? Uh, it destroys the opposing monster as well. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and put that on the field. Oh, wait, no, I can't, I can't. Okay, we're gonna hold. Hold! Hold fast, men! Those crush cards... Oh, I remember that. Yep, I already read that. Yes! Get fucked, you stupid mermaid bitch. You're about to feel the force of two dicks in your ass. Because it's a double-headed dragon. You know, it's, it's got to have a fucking two dicks. Two dicks. Come on. Y'all know it. I'm not... I'm making sense, right? <laughs> oh, you're going to try and slip, slip to the side, huh? All right, here's what I want to do. Crass Clown is right there. Let's go ahead and... Derplant, Rock, this. Okay. They're gonna combine to make whatever the fuck that was. Oh, that's different. Okay. Okay. Okay! I fucked myself so hard right there. Oh! Damn it! I fucked myself! I lost the last match so badly in my first playthrough. Really? I think my tactic for the crush card zones was to just send something in there with stupid high defense, but crap attack. They attack and do damage to themselves because nothing they've been sending into that zone can expect can exceed 100. Yeah, I remember that. I know, it was brutal. That was... that was... Uh, I didn't know that that was going to happen. I was doing a really good move there for a little bit. <laughs> uh, F and chat. We're about to take this guy out, though, so... Yeah, I think with that, that should do it. Vers Versago, the Destroyer. No, actually, that was not enough. That wasn't enough. <laughs> Oh, that was enough. Okay, we, we did. I know, that was that was so good. We had a 2100 monster. Oh well. All right, so I want I want that the uh, trap card there. There's a whole bunch of them in a row. And I fucked up that one. I <laughs> fucked up that one. Ah, fuck. Damn it. Clap has always been here. This was the game where I had a notepad besides me to write down- Oh, you're- oh, you are absolutely right. I should do that. Alright, I'm gonna fight Tristan again. That trap card is a good card. If I remember correctly. Oh, you know what we never did? We never opened up another pack of cards. For our win against Tristan. Let's go ahead and do that while, uh, I remember. 
Remember, we are opening up Speed Duel Trials of the Kingdom cards. We're looking for a big boy. Okay. What we got? Okay, we already fought. We already saw that one. Okay, so this one's called Waking the Dragon. If this card, if this set card in its owner's control has left the field because of the opponent's effect, and it's now in the graveyard or banished, you can special summon one monster from your deck or extra deck. That's pretty good. We got uh, War Lion Ritual. This card is used as a ritual summon Super War Lion. You must also tribute monsters from your hand or field those totaling levels to seven or more. And we got another one of these. Well, we're, we're having bad luck with the pools right now, but at least we're seeing some new ones. We're seeing some new ones. Collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards in real life while collecting cards in the game? Too meta. I'm, I'm reigniting my, uh... My, uh... My addiction. Okay, so dinosaur and zombie right away. We're... Not dinosaur, but, uh... No, wait, wait, wait! One... Two... There we go. Right away, we're getting a pretty good card off the bat. I'm just going to keep him there. Right, he's feeling the heat now. What do we got? Uh, an insect, a dragon, a machine, a zombie. Dragon and zombie is something, right? Should be dragon zombie. Yeah! I'm smart! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Yes. Now I just need a plant. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this, get rid of this, and... Well, I can't do that. Okay, uh, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna hold off for a round here. Try and go around me. So this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna boop, boop, and boop. Just to clear out those. Move this over here. And I'm gonna move this guy over here. I'm gonna keep it like that. I just need a plant and a zombie now. Should knock out that, and that should knock out that. Personally, I don't want these cards on the field, but I have to have them. I not. I mean, I have Dark Magician in real life. You have to play Legacy of the Duelist. Have you played Legacy of the Duelist at all? Yes. Yes, I have. Okay, so there's a warrior here. Warrior combined with Fiend should be something, right? No. Okay, never mind. Just kidding. It might have been... It was probably Warrior and Zombie, honestly. I've kind of opened myself up for attack, though. <clears throat> Take all this out. That should combine, thank you. A zombie warrior, oh boy. Well, I mean, it's a zombie card, so it's fine. Once I get that fucking pumpkin... Yeah, I wanna fuck a pumpkin, what, what about it, huh? <laughs> okay. 
We're gonna try and take out that magic card I have. This... This is looking a little dire right now. Hold on. Oh, you're fucked! You're fucked, dude! Oh, you're f you're absolutely screwed, man. Oh, you are so screwed. Fuck yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, this guy's- yeah. Now most of the field is my type of zone. You are screwed, dude. Yes. The only thing that I need to worry about is if he has that, um... If he has that one dude. Okay. How many cards? I have three monsters on the field. Great man with a gold fiend. Damn, son. Alright, one, two, three. I just need to get some cards out of my hand here. I should have put that on the other side. That's my bad. Move that there. Move this here. And I'm going to go ahead and take out whatever this is. I wish it would show me the totals. Ah, oh, fuck! No way! Oh, it's because I attacked him. Oh, it's just I'm I'm dumb. I fucked up myself. Fuck. Fuck. Because he's on grassland and I attacked him. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. That that sucked. That blew. That's all right. That's all right. Once we get a pumpkin. Oh, rip game. my my anus. Yeah, rip my anus. You know that there's a weakness in my defense now, so... <laughs> <sighs> okay, Great Man with a Gold Fiend, move up. I'm gonna keep Dragon Zombie there. Let's see, we have a Uzaki. So what I want to do is... One, two, there we go. Is it your anus, the weakness in your defense? Yes. And if the card's turn, does that mean it's on defense? So if the card is long ways, that means it's in defense, yep. So I need this guy to come into the dark zone. Alright. Should we get It looks like he's trying to take all his forces around. Holy shit. Okay, okay, hold on. I mean, if someone tickles your bum, I'm sure you'll feel just as vulnerable. Alright, so we have a dragon zombie there. We have zombie warrior there. I'm gonna move zombie warrior back over here just in case I have a plant. No plant yet. But we do have... A Shadow Ghoul, which I'm going to throw onto the field here. Take out Saggy. Take out... This, and put this. Wait, Yammy Island, Yammy! Outflanking offense over defense. So he's being boosted there. Unfortunately, I think he might die if that happens. Dragon Zombie, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. You know, it's one of those things that's like, let's just try. Let's see, what's he got? All right, that that's Sleeping Lion. Whoa, watch out, y'all. Sleeping Lion. Whoa. Oh, shit. Take a, take a seat. Alright. I'm gonna keep Dragon Zombie there. Keep Zombie Warrior there.
What is he going to do? What is he going to do? I'm concerned for my well-being. If Deplens is played, points can't be lost. Uh, yeah. So if yeah, if I attack uh, one of his cards, um, while it's in defense, he won't lose points. Oh shit! We got a dark crystal here, boys. Please don't screw me. I think that should work. Yes! There we go, there we go. There we go. Now we're way above him, but um, I don't want to attack him. So the game, this, this game takes the basic concept of Yu-Gi-Oh! and kind of expands on it in like a turn-based strategy type format. Time Wizard! Yep, Time Wizard is one of his favorite cards. He got it from Yugi! Obese Marmot of Nefariousness. So, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna just take some cards out of my hand here. Actually, we should... Uh, no, that's not... Because that's a weak zombie. It's very weak. One, two, and three. All right. Yeah, it's a risky card, because you could lose every single card in your hand, and if, uh... Honestly, I don't know how much I'll lose if I... I will lose too much. Okay, gotcha. gotcha. Okay, so we still have our zombie warrior over here and our whatever this... I don't really need that. I'd love to see classic Yu-Gi-Oh games like this with updated rules, but if it's including modern mechanics, I'll be fucked to know... Yeah, Synchro, XYZ, XZ, you know, all that stuff sucks. I, that's why I keep my, I keep, I keep, that's why I like the speed duels. The speed duels is, um, the new thing that they're doing. We got a Durplant! Oh, yes, we got a Durplant. Yes, baby. Oh my god, thank you. Finally. That is going to increase my my cards by 100. Every zombie monster gets increased by 100 every turn. Okay. So I want to bring out another zombie card. That's a fiend. I wonder if I can combine a machine and a zombie. No. Yummy loves his pumpkins, and this isn't Halloween. I love Halloween! Almost there. This is what I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. He has. Okay. So didn't even do it. The effect didn't even work. You stop playing IRL when pendulums. Oh fuck, pendulums, dude. Player two. I don't. He's probably not here right now. He left. He is all into that stuff. And me personally, I City of the Duelist is as far as I go in terms of like card battling. And the the uh, speed duel stuff is all based around the old cards. So essentially. You know, you have regular monsters again, and for the most part, if you have a regular monster in your deck nowadays with all the stuff that goes on, you're screwed. And I hate that about about it, you know? Like, I like the old school stuff, you know? If I was going to have a tournament in my Discord, and if you're not a part of my Discord and you want to join it, I may do a tournament of Yu-Gi-Oh, like the old style Yu-Gi-Oh stuff in the future. Um... But, uh, you know, I just, I love Duelist Kingdom, and I love, uh, the city, the city of Duelist, you know? So now we'll tie him if we attack. This has 24 even without leveling 
Okay. Hold on. Wasn't there a card that I wanted to move around? Uh, unfortunately, Dragon Zombie's a little squished right now. Yes! Oh my god, finally. Okay, so we already have a lot of zombies on the field, though. Damn, son, literally every card I have on the field is already a zombie. <laughs> well, what we could do... Hold on. Um, what we could do is since... Since this card is not as good... We could do something like... Well, I can't do it right now. How many cards? I have five cards on the field, so I would need to lose a card in order to even pull out the... You know, it's, it's one of those things, it's like, okay, uh, now that you have all your stuff on the field, uh, fuck you. <laughs> do you love Dark Magician Girl as much as I do? I like Dark Magician himself. Uh, hey, Yummy, gotta head out, have a good stream, take care. Alright, see you later, uh, Midget Gamer. Thank you again for the, the raid, I do appreciate that. Simple rule to make. Normal monster cards vis viable again. Non-normal monster cards can't be affected by power-up cards. That's true. That could, that, could, that could work swimmingly, actually. Alright, let me take out this motherfucker. He's been a thorn in my ass for a little while now. Garuzis. See you later, alligator. <laughs> Get it? Because he is actually like an alligator? <laughs> I'm the chocolate baby! Now I can finally move him out of the way so I can move Dragon Zombie up. That's right. So, essentially what I want to... I mean, I guess I'll just keep it as it is right now. And I'll keep leveling up my cards until, uh... Until the piper is paid, huh? Okay. Oh, you know what? Oh, that's right. That joke was a crock of shit. <laughs> what I could do is I could just play cards. Yeah, I think I I think I can do that. So technically, if I do this, 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 he'll be killed immediately. Yeah, let's just get a whole new hand. Yeah. So essentially, what's going to happen is the bird is going to so be serious, killed son. immediately. I'm the Joker, baby. Yeah, baby. Shadow Ghoul has 3,000 right now. Dragon Zombie, pretty good, but not amazing. Essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best to box him in. So Dragon Zombie is not going to lose anything by moving up because we're going to Wasteland, which affects zombies. that card out of the way. That's not good. Well, uh, we have Pumpkin King back there. You know, he should be fine. We have the king. I'm gonna move this to the side. I'm gonna move this to the side. I'm gonna move Gold Fiend up. Let's see what we got. Oh, we're at the end of our deck. Okay. So we should probably just hold off on doing anything, huh? Okay, he's moving that back. He knows that it's not good enough, huh? Oh, he's moved that up, though. Should I be... Should I be scared of what's under that card? Shadow Ghoul... I mean, Shadow Ghoul's really powerful. Let's see what's under... Oh. <laughs> Watch out for Leo Gun! Oh, no! 1750! I think I just won. No, I didn't. Okay. I was about to say, that would have been hilarious. Well, you know, they can't all be zingers, huh? Move him up. Uh, so he's going to lose a little bit of power there, but I'm going to go ahead and strike while the iron is hot. That was just a spell card, okay. Okay. 
is he doing? Is he trying to die? I just need 1,300 damage on you, dude. Me thinks he's trying to die. Take a take a back seat to the fucking. Uh oh yeah okay yep. <laughs> Guardian of the throne room is that that's actually a really good card especially for a level four. I'm surprised that that's in the game. At level four, he has 50 life points left. Everyone, 50 life points. I can move twice. I'm gonna go ahead and try and take out this dude. What's he got? Yeah, that this guy sucks. See you later, Dark Prisoner. Goodbye. No, my Dark Prisoner! He was so dreamy. Okay. He's moving his cards away. He's like, fuck! Fuck! <laughs> he's so he's still summoning cards. So. Okay. This guy does know that uh, I can attack backwards, right? <laughs> Whoa, that's a cool looking card. It's not very good, but Com I guess it's okay compared to my, you know, dragon zombie. That just, that just took him out. We're d he's done. You should have went to defense. What was this guy's thinking? Seriously. I won. I love zombie cards. Mm -hmm. Now that I understand how the game works, I can actually do good. Unfortunately, that trap card that I wanted is not in the, in the wheel. I got fucking Leo the fucking bitch-ass lion. Yeah, but I got the Throne Room Guardian. That's a good card. Thank you for the claps. Better defense doesn't make it. Well, it will, it, def, if he put his cards in defense, it wouldn't have killed him right away. He could have probably lasted a little bit longer. But instead, he was like, I'm going to put my cards in defense because I'm smart. Let me go to my deke. So I want to I want to pull over um, that one guy. So I want to get rid of. Honestly, I think we're gonna get rid of Shadow Spec. Actually, Skull Servant. And let's get. Wait, where did um? Oh, here it is. Guardian of the Throne. Room. Let's pull him over. Should we face Tristan again? He has a lot of cards that I like, but oh, let's uh, let's save. Hold on. <clears throat> so you don't save unless you manually save. Remind me. <laughs> don't let me forget that. What do you guys? What do you guys want to do? Should we move on to the next fight, or should we fight Tristan again and try and get some more cards? What do you guys think? The next person we're facing is Mai, so. She probably won't have anything amazing. Move on to the next fight? Alright, let's 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 go. So, you're the one who betrayed those who summoned you. I guess I'll have to show you the error of your ways. Whoop! Yeah, we're cruising now. We beat Tristan three times in a fucking row. Yeah, I, I, was, I was fighting Tristan to try and get some more cards. Because he had some uh, monsters that I wanted. I didn't get any of the ones that I technically wanted, but that's alright. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, this isn't good. Wasteland's on the side, though. I may move... Yeah, let's move over so that we can... Uh... We have a plant, but we don't have a zombie card that's strong enough yet. So we're going to hold off, I think. Let's... Let's play... Yeah, let, let's hold off. I'm gonna hold off. Joey and Tay got lucky against Mai in the anime. Well, <laughs> it was a lot of bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to use Yami when I'm closer to... Uh... 
All right, so we need to at least. Oh wow! Oh we! Yeah. Oh shit! She's she screwed herself with this one. I'm gonna t I'm gonna say that right now. <laughs> so I have a winged dragon of raw. No, I, I don't have a winged dragon of raw. I, I apologize. It was just a joke. It was a joke. Please. <laughs> All right, so I'm moving him over here so that I can um, summon a zombie card and put it on him. Unfortunately, we don't have really anything that good right now. Oh, I can combine, but then I'll lose that if I turn it into a zombie. Oh shit, the plant also got fucked there too. Alright, so we're gonna wanna keep this right here. So if I I could I could technically play this in defense and I can um put it in guard there. there we go. I wanna re I I wish Frog existed in this game. Zonkey is a zombie. Is he? Uh oh they just combined something there. I didn't know Zom I thought he was a warrior until you turned him into a zombie. Yeah, he's a warrior. Uh, that's a dinosaur. Can't do anything with that. Shit. Alright, well, we need to hold off and earn some more points. Alright, so my is being very tactical. He's a warrior, got a dinosaur, fiend. I'm gonna go ahead and play this here so that I can have a little bit of a defense. I move that out of my summon zone. Mammoth plus any zombie, yeah, yeah. Because a bone mammoth plus a zombie equals a gold bone mammoth. A bone mammoth plus a zombie? Bone mammoth plus a zombie equals a gold bone. Look at me. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. So, hopefully we got... Nope, we did not get a zombie. We're getting screwed. I only have one zombie and it's not good enough. It's not good enough. But you said plus any zombie, so technically I could do this. Yeah, might as well. I mean, honestly, turning all our cards into a zombie is going to help too much in this case. Because she has so much shit. But I will need a Yami eventually. He's got her defense made up for sure. Ah, oh, fuck a bug, dude. Come on. Alright, we just need to... Do this. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much, too many points, you know. Two F U Z A. What's that? If you, for when you fail. Oh. All right, so. Oh. I still don't have a good zombie card. God damn. This is what I need to do, though. I need to pull this up. And I'm gonna summon... This guy, so that if I... ...do... ...get attacked, he can help me. Fiend's hand plus your plant. Wait, Fiend's? Fiend's hand plus a plant is enough? I thought it had to be something over a thousand. Or maybe, was that the plant? Was that dirt plant? Uh... So I should be able to just move these... I should be able to just move these together, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. 
Okay, so... Thank you. That helps a lot. <laughs> that helps a lot. Unfortunately, I can't do anything with it right now. I wish that I could fucking delete that right now. Unfortunately, I cannot. It's too bad I didn't, uh... We're just gonna hold well. See, I wish. I wish that this stupid asshole could die without me moving everything around. Let's go ahead and put out. Rock and Warrior might combine and make something. Dragon, dragon and Dragon and Fiend will make a uh, zombie, right? Am I wrong? No, okay. So, I don't have any other zombies except for that one, and I don't want to use it. So let's go ahead and put this guy down, and hopefully we'll get a zombie next round that we can combine with him. Head of Easter Island plus less... Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I'll do that next round. Go ahead and face this up and put it in guard mode. Okay, so Lesser Dragon and Easter Island Statue. That's a weird combination. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, wow. Stone D. That sounds uh, kind of sexual. She's ready for something. Power increase. Yeah. God damn, we keep getting shit cards, I tell you, man. It's not going well. Everyone loves a stone D. <laughs> or women. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and just kind of do this for the moment. Just so I can get these cards out of my hand. Oh! Ooh, maximum... Okay, so let's just go ahead and... Take out a bunch of them. Yeah, there we go. That's... That's gonna... That's gonna work out beautifully. We'll get a whole new hand, pretty much. There we go. Pumpkin King, you need to hurry up and get get moving here. Be oh, it's because he's on a mountain. He's uh, so limited. So let me let me move this up, and I know it's gonna kind of screw me for a single turn, but I'm gonna move him there, just so he's not so weak. I need to get I need to draw that Yami. Oh shit. Oh shit. Harpy Lady Sisters. Spellbound for a little bit. We need stuff at 300 hour. Oh boy. Yep. This is almost there. Do that. Stone D and that are not. we get? In fact, able to move and attack without triggering an opponent's trap. Okay. 
This is what I'm gonna do, because I'm just you know, I just need to get cards out of my hand once again. Just uh Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna keep one zombie though, just in case I get another dragon card. I have the best chance of taking out the Harpy Ladies if I can just get Mammoth leveled up. But the other unfortunate thing, keep it for the next plant. Okay, yeah, hopefully we'll, hopefully we'll get another plant uh, soon. I need the heart of the cards! Heart in these cards. Uh, shit. Alright, let me go ahead and combine. Uh, that sh Oh, okay, alright. I don't understand this card. I guess I just don't understand that card. For some reason, it just seems to fuck everything. Alright, Great Mammoth is almost there. Oh, I should have used that. You're right. Oh! Uh, what is this? Uh-oh, a Harpy's Dragon. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Skullbird has been killed. Damn, dude. The power is increasing there. Oh, we got the crystal there. Hold on. I really can't move. I don't have any warriors on the field, so I might as well... ...do that. Unfortunately, I can't... ...move it over to my gold fiend without dealing with this stupid harpy's dragon. Hey! Jeez! Hey, gamer, how you doing today? Alright, turn the defense mode there. Gonna grab some lunch, but I'll leave the tab open for you. No problem, man. I appreciate it. We'll see you later. And Spencer! But Yummy, do you believe in the I've always believed in the heart of the cards. How dare you! <laughs> I may have to take a slight L. Doesn't Rock and Zombie do something, or was that something? Or am I thinking wrong? Maybe it's Rock and Fiend. Mm. This is where I kind of. Oh, so I'm I'm guessing once he flips over, he'll be able to do a double. He'll be able to do a double move. Or no, that's okay. Never mind. I wish I wish I could just activate this onto my fucking gold fiend. Unfortunately, I can't just go through my my guy. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to hold off. Got to hold it. Off. Yeah, unfortunately, with the placement that I have right here, I probably should have had 
my guy next to the wasteland, so I had two wasteland spots. That probably would have been much better. I, if I move this guy, I'm screwed. Because he'll just she'll switch to attack mode and, and kill it. I need to I just need to get something on the field. Hold on, let me uh Whatever. <laughs> ah, I have to be an attack mode with that car. Wonderful. Dang, dude, can I can I just can I just get a break, please? Again, here we go. Luckily, I have a yes. flip it. That'll e that'll pretty much equal us out. Unfortunately, I still have this stupid crystal that I can't use because I <laughs> I screwed my mom. <laughs> oh, mama. keeps increasing, that's good. Soon enough, I mean, I'll have enough to face off against it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah, baby! I think I should, uh... Okay, so what I'm gonna do... This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this here. I move this here. And I'm gonna have to take a hit. If if she does in fact attack, like I think that she's going to. Oh, she's attacking with a different monster. That's not good. Well, it's only a hundred. It's only a hundred. We're we're okay. We're we're okay. And that should spell... Yes, spellbound. Okay. Ooh. 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 Come on, baby! Woohoo! See ya later, alligator! You've been... gnomed! Still pretty high damage on that one. But I'm going to take him out. Yes! Come on, come on, come on. That that should work. Thank you. Might be like... <laughs> and... And... Um, I can get this into place, right? Show me your moves, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. We're... We are doing... Okay. I want to put that there. Hopefully, we can uh, get enough damage so that we don't even need to worry about the mountain range affecting us, honestly. Because I'm about to... I'm about to rock this girl's world! Alright, now I need to burn hand here. Insect, spellcaster, fiend. Okay. 
Yeah, you better do that, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm about to rock your socks off. Unfortunately, because of this being so good, okay, I I won't be able to. I guess I, I guess I yeah I can I can put um oh oh ooh, 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 we can have two pumpkin jacks on the field right here we go. I can feel it! No! 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 Oh, you asshole! Alright, I need to go and destroy it. Ah, you... Bitch! Absolute bitch. Oh! I was about to do the, the, the move. I was about to obliterate everything that you stood for. We have a bunch of zombies now. Let's get that card out of here. Oh, hold on. So what, oh, what I'm going to do is we're going to try and... And he's spellbound, okay. And if I move there, it's the decrease is too much. So let's go ahead and move him up and we'll hold off for a turn. What I'm gonna try and do is get my mega gold fiend. I'm gonna just move him up along the uh, wastelands. I'm guessing there's harpy lady sisters in there somewhere, you know? Two pumpkin jacks! So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this here. <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in defense mode. Okay! Okay! She might win by attrition. <laughs> so I have to keep. Oh no. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I still have a good amount of attack, so I'm just. I'm gonna take out this asshole. Dark Fire Dragon! I had that card when I was a kid. Not anymore. Goodbye. That was actually better damage than what we did to her. Oh yeah, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Alright, it's so a great mammoth. I call upon you to move up in this world. One, two... Here we 
got? Uh, we're at the end of our deck here. Okay. Yeah, those Harpy, that Ice card is actually pretty good against uh, my deck. But, <laughs> luckily for me, I have a pretty powerful deck myself, that. Eh? Alright. You think this is funny? I'll show you funny. Just look at your face. Oh! Got him. Got him. Ever so gingerly moving up. I'm confident, but maybe I'm too confident. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... Actually, I can't take that risk right now, for because that could be something pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and steamroll whatever this is. I have... Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, shit! Good, good play. Good play. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're probably gonna... Show me the business, huh? Luckily, I'm not dead. But I am low. Oh, no. If I do this, I mean, she moved away from me. Get out my dark assassin! Dark ass assassin! Okay, what's happening there? What's happening here? Well, rip my, my anus. We're okay. What happened? Uh, she... Did something to my card. Why does she do that? I'm about to take out her pet dragon. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? You stupid? Oh, that's why. Yep. Mamma mia, papa hia, baby on a stove, huh? Nah, you know what you can nah. Yeah, it's a little bit of a noof, for sure. She's probably, uh... She saw 17 cards in her deck. Jesus Christ, lady. Okay. I'm about to... Finally... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Really? That's what you're gonna do to me, huh? Huh, game? You're kidding me. It's a trap. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Really? And who knows what else she fucking has under her fucking skin. Dude, that's... I was so confident. I'm gonna run out of fucking cards. Yeah, 
Yeah, she wants to play dirty. I'll, I'll fucking play dirty. I'll have you know that Pumpkin King has three buttholes. Yeah, you better. The unfortunate thing is, like, how do I know... You know, I don't even need to take out that trap card at this point. What if I do this? Okay, so it down, it's down by a thousand. That's not good. Yeah. 2,400, uh... 2,600. Yeah. If we move up once, she won't be able to do anything. That's what I thought. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep him right there, right now. Dark Assassin, stay there. Zombie Warrior, stay there. Yeah, she's a bit scary, for sure. It's just, it's hard. It's, I don't know what she has in her upper sleeve, so... You know, if I even try and take out that trap card again, she may have another one of those cards that just immediately kills my dude, you know? And at that point, I mean, oof, I don't even want to think about it. everything. So this is going to go from that to that. I wonder if I should... I feel confident. I feel confident. Seriously, I'm, I'm low by 100? Gotta be kidding me, now I'm spellbound. You fucker. So what could that card be? Hmm. Alright, we'll just wait. You stupid noob! I'll just wait it out. Yeah. I can't believe what's going on right now. The mountain range is what's fucking me up. Maybe I should have moved the Yami up, you know? Put it in her territory, that might have helped me more. Yeah, just something, you know... Something to think about next for if we need to do this again. So he's spellbound, he's at 34,000. See, if this is a Harpy's Dragon, it'll have... 3,000 defense there. If I... yeah, I can't move. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna have to wait it out a little bit here. So apparently she's she can't put any more cards down. Oh my god, look at them big old things. Jesus. Thank you for the five bits, Ink. I appreciate that. Okay, so my pumpkin is able to beat this dragon now. My king is better than your pet. There we go. He's spellbound, of course. See, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I want to even try and attack that right now. We're just gonna hold off. She's probably gonna. Oh, she didn't. Okay. Honestly, I could probably box her in with her because she has her own cards there. She'd have to walk over her own cards. Still not enough for my liking. Just skip turn. I have a good feeling. I might not have to input those cards into my deck, you know? I have a good feeling right now. That is, until she, you know, does whatever she's about to do with whatever she's about to do. Uh, let me take out this card. 
Oh, it was a, it was a magic card. Okay. Okay. I can move him up because... Oh, no, I can't! Oh, see, this is when I wish that there was like a... I thought that he had more than... Uh, I fucked myself! Oh, she's... Oh, thank you so much, Mai. <laughs> you, you saved me. Oh, that's... Oh, that's, that's good for me. Bad for you, because I'm about to power up. <laughs> and I'm not... I am definitely not tr even trying to sacrifice Pumpkin King if something's underneath that fucking fucking thing. Yeah, I know they lose a thousand. I, I thought he had more. That was my bad. Under pressure! Uh, put them in anyways. They make more fun to play and they don't break the game. Oh, okay. If they don't break the game, I mean... I also don't want to, like... Alright, so I should... Yes! Oh, shit! Okay. Okay. So now... <laughs> She's got nothing. She might not have anything. She's moving her stuff around. Uh-oh. That would That's actually not good. But she, she didn't move her main character, though. One... Two... I can take her out right now! No! Oh! No! You bastard! It's a trap. Of course, it's a trap. Oh. Of course. All right, that's it. I'm I'm moving up. I need to put at least a card down to try and protect myself if I if I get some form of fuckery. Uh Dude, that's so annoying fucking trap card. The trap card is out of the way. Oh my god. No, 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 no. 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 What is that? Holy shit. What did she just do? She had yeah, Luxor, she used the trap card and fucked me over sideways. Bet me over. I may just want to keep leveling up until... I should be safe if I move up one. Okay. I'm gonna move him up to that spot. He, he stays there. He's at 59,000. Okay, guys, I have a game with some people, so adios. Alright, see ya, Punisher. Thank you for hanging out with us. I appreciate ya. Probably a harpy lady sister? Yeah, probably. It's probably overpowered as fuck. The problem is I don't even. Oh, she. De oh, she's switching to defense. Hmm. You stupid noob. Hey, thanks for the f um the follow, Ink Zorath. Appreciate it. I also appreciate all the help that you're giving me right now. I have a good feeling though. Birdface is out of here. See you later. Alright, Spellbound, that's fine. I'm gonna keep leveling you up, Pumpkin Boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-oh. She's got a fucking peacock. Oh, of course it's a hundred more than mine. Damn, dude. We're losing cards! <laughs> Monster reborn. Dying, son, we're 
did you find this? So if I do this, it goes... Yeah, I can't do that. Ah, uh, what is this? Okay, regular harpy lady. Okay, okay. I'm so scared! I'm so scared! I'm uh, so close to winning! Oh, no way, dude. Yeah, you better go to defense. Okay, so she went to defense on that one, too. Mm. Oh, what's she doing there, huh? I'm stuck there. Oh, dude, you just fucked yourself. Well, uh, nope. I'm not going to take the bait. I'm not going to take the bait. Now that she's used the Monster Reborn card, she can't bring... No, she can't... Nope. Yeah, you can only have one in a deck. So. Yeah. She's only got two cards left, which are probably monster cards, honestly. Alright, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take out the the peacock here. Just so I can get her to Yeah. Well you have to force you have to force her to use them by making her move. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm gonna take out some cards here. Of course, spellbound, of course. I could win this with a timeout too if it comes down to it. So I need the. Uh, so she obviously has a few spell cards on the or trap cards on the field, and that makes me quite scared. He's stuck in place. I can't do anything with him yet. Shadow Specter is getting pretty beefy now compared to what he was. See what this is. What is that? I win anyways. Punished Eagle. So that's what she combined. She was combining a bunch of cards to make that. Because screw the rules, it's the 1400s. <laughs> Damn, dude, I'm spellbound. So I'll have 3000 attack if I move up a space with him. She's placing a card. Oh, whoa, what'd you do there? What are you doing? Oh, she's moving. Or no, she's not. Okay. Power increased. I wonder if I should just... Uh, I, gotta, I gotta keep uh, one pumpkin in defense mode. Okay. See, what she's trying to do, she's trying to get me to attack that card. Which I may just do. I mean, 3200 is still pretty damn good. It's a trap. You think so? Five thousand. What do you got there? Uh, oh, uh, an Empress Judge? That's a cute card. <laughs> Down to our last five cards. Yeah, we're, we're, we're trying. Oh, and I didn't have to do a spell break that time. Excellent. How the joke, baby? <laughs> oh, you should have moved that card back, you dodo. No, because she wants me to attack her. That's the problem that I'm facing right now. She wants me to t try and take her life points. 
And if that's the case, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try and uh, take her out like so. That was okay. It was nothing. It was it was all a ruse. I forgot to move my other card. My pumpkin. So she knew that I... Okay. Here's another... Okay, so we're gonna take out this one. What is that? No! Mm! Shit! I'm sick of your trap cards, man. I, I really am. Seven for this game. Okay, she's moving and she's placing. <sighs> Don't know what I can do here. Damn, she moved fast. I got the Skelly Boy back. The band's back together! Okay. Probably was um, an effective trap card there, huh? If I can... I'm saying it's like she wants me to attack her, so that's why I'm kind of leery. I'm gonna keep him right there. There's nothing she can do now. Her. If she can't move, she just immediately surrenders. Gotcha. That's what I'm gonna do. Or just murder her. I mean, I don't- I don't- <laughs> I don't want to, like, go for an attack and then she has another one of those, like, binding chains or whatever it was, because that- that would really screw me. Especially if she has more than one. Power increase. <sighs> All right, I'm going to go with Zombie Warrior. First try, big B! First try, big B! Yo! Ha <laughs> oh. oh! 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 Holy shit, was that good! Oh, mama mia! Pumpkin King of the Ghosts has been promoted! So is the great mammoth gold fiend! Holy mother of Jesus! All right, we did it. I want that. I want that eye card. Oh, yeah, baby! Harpy's feather duster, shatter the eyes, Harpy's pet dragon, and curse breaker. Do you want a pumpkin king to make as your deck leader or a golden mammoth? 
if I put the Pumpkin King as the leader, does that uh, does that do anything? Does that do anything special? Oh my gosh, losing to the likes of you makes my skin crawl. You shall not be so lucky when you reach the con continent, for Yugi and his followers are f a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, 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 fuck off. <laughs> he gets effects after being a higher level of deck leader. Okay. Who are we going against next? There's a ship there. Dover. I don't know what that is yet. Let's save. But to do that, he has to be used on the field more and more. Okay. <clears throat> yep. It's two o'clock. Harpy's pet dragon, let's go. Shadow of the eyes. <clears throat> so... Was this guy? Alright, I'm gonna take him out. Bye, and put Shadow of the Eyes in. <clears throat> Enter them codes. L3 or R3 in the chest, really? Let me, uh, let's see. Okay. In the chest. Oh, here we go. Enter password. I don't know if I want to cheat, though, you know? Like, that's the thing. It's gonna take a while. I guess I can take that. M MC Hammer! You've attained the following card, Green Kappa. <laughs> Green Kappa? What's he do? Whoops. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, okay. <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty cool. There we go. Special, when this card is flipped face up, adopts the attack and defense of the monster with the highest attack power on the field. That's pretty good! <laughs> Can't lie! <laughs> Um, alright, so what I want to do is, I'm going to take this out because it's a beast and I don't use beasts. Okay, so we got two F. Oops. F. F U. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna help out a lot. I'm gonna take out that other. Uh, I'm gonna take out Sword of Destruction because fuck that guy and put in the Yami. Oh, thank you. That help. That's gonna help a lot. Two Yamis. Thank you. You can either use this code in your deck or make him your deck leader. Oh. uh... Does, does he even show up in my card list since he's a fusion? It's not worth it. Okay. Oh, that's the that's the input. Okay, I see, I see. Whoa, what did I just do? Reincarnation, what's that? Mean? E F. So is there? There's probably a character in this game that. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, that uh, is a zombie player, right? Pumpkin King of Chaos. 
Oh, King of Ghosts. <laughs> My bad. Uh, it says I can't put him in. How do you do it? It's getting rid of the card and a chance to get three new ones. Oh, okay. You can do it every, once every five duels. Oh, okay. How do I get the ghost uh, to be my... Select. Oh, okay. Uh, select's not doing anything. Oh, start. Okay, there we go. So as, uh, as a leader... He has nothing right now, but he'll level up, like you said. I mean, my other guy didn't have anything either, so it's like... Hmm. Maybe I should put pra I should probably put Practitioner of Darkness in my uh, in my deck. He's a zombie, right? Yeah. Yeah, he didn't have anything with him either. Yeah, that says two thousand. Let's take off. What's a Zanky? What is this? Oh, it's a uh, that guy. Let's go ahead and take him out. They gain XP as they're on the field. Yeah, yep. He... You have to use him as a deck leader and as a monster. Okay, got it. So the more you have, the longer they're on the field, the faster you... Oh, so that's actually going to help me a lot. <laughs> it's about an eight-hour speed run to grind to get the single deck leader to max level. That's not bad, all things considered, honestly. So I want to just test out my new configuration against Tristan or something, you know? I don't want to play Mai again. That was a, that was too that was too that was too gripping. Let me save. So Pumpkin King is probably one of the few deck leader skills you'll see since he gets it early. Oh, okay, okay. All right, let's go back to London because Tristan's here and he's a big dick, and you'll have a lot of him on the field. I yeah, if I if I play my cards right, we should be able to. You know, be oh, oh, we forgot to um, open a card pack for beating my my reward. I love speed duels. All right, let's see what we got in this one. Remember, there is a pretty high value card that we're looking for in these. What's we got first? Another flintlock, my favorite. Another cyber raider. We already know this one. We already have this one, and we already have uh, a dud pack for beating my... We got a dud pack. Ugh. Son of a bitch. You can have him face down and flip up when blue eyes silvers... Flip up blue eyes silver zombie? We'll try to have... Green Kappa will try to have Green Kappa in spaces that he's already weakened in. Alright, so our hand looks okay. I'm gonna go ahead and combine one, two, three. We're just gonna remove some stuff from our deck here. Because when he is flipped face up in his weakened state, he gains the attack. So when moving off a of space, he gains attack. Okay. And Blue Eye Silver Zombie helps Green Kappa gain from Pumpkin King. Okay. We got Yami already. We're gonna put it right here. He might catch up to me. Yeah, he's gonna catch up to me if I try and do that. Hold on. All right, so we got uh, Dragon Zombie here, which is good. We got Shadow Ghoul. Let's go ahead and put Shadow Ghoul on the field. Um, 
burn the clown in the machines. Okay. <laughs> Have you dueled? Yeah, Tay was the first person we dueled. And she kicked our ass the first time somehow. Alright, nothing good there, so... Alright, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is... Oh, I see, that's... He's actually... Is he losing? Oh, he's just a bad... He's just a bad kid. What I want to do is, uh... I feel like if I... Do... Alright, we'll do that for right now. Let's go ahead and... Boom, 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 boom. Tristan is weaker than my... Yeah, she definitely is. I'm fighting Tristan just to find... Uh, just to get used to the new deck configuration. Attack from the side, a flank maneuver. Actually, I'm better than you, so fuck off. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did you uh, try and attack me with a two mouth dark ruler? Unfortunately, now I'm spell broken, though. Ooh, he must not have had a good card there either. If I wasn't spell broken, uh, that would have been really good. Alright, let's see what we got. We got uh, green kappa there. We'll wait. The, we'll wait on that. We're gonna wait. Uh, if this card wasn't spellbound, I'd probably. No, well, maybe. Yeah. Let's go ahead and. Uh, should I use it here? Yeah, because he's got wasteland all over there. Yeah. This. This is good. That's good. I. I, I feel like that's good enough. Cause he. He. He has wasteland there. I guess. I guess I probably should have went up here right. That's okay. That's alright. I'm not too worried. He's attacking me with the... the s what do you... What does this guy think? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's why. He was... My guy was spell broken anyway, so I couldn't do anything. <laughs> Alright, show me the money here. Let's see. Discard. Beast. Alright, let's burn. Burn, baby, burn. Burn. Yeah. That's gonna combine and make something. But that's gonna do that, and that's gonna do that. I'm gonna keep that there. Actually, I don't need to keep him here. Yeah, we'll move him up. Hey, what's up? Uh, Rave... Ravern... Not? Ravern not? Somebody's playing Duels of the Rose. Ah, uh, yes, it was chosen by my Discord, and I love Yu-Gi-Oh! This game's a little bit different than what I was expecting, of course. But it's become pretty fun. All right, so we need to, uh... Oh, we can make a, a Great Mammoth of Gold Fiend. Now let's, uh... Let's go ahead and do that. Raver not. Okay. Thank you for spelling it out. I do appreciate that. It helps me. Raver not. It's just plus you, yeah. <laughs> So I can still, um, I should be able to still... No, I can't. Okay. I'm gonna hold off... I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my setup the way it is right now. He's trying to go around the sides. Okay. Oh, you're gonna try and attack me with that guy, huh? Ooh, sorry! <laughs> Rev. Oh, Rev. Rev or not. This game is like Yu-Gi-Oh! was adapted as an RTS, yeah. <laughs> Rev or not. Alright, we got a stupid bug. 
Let's go ahead and burn, baby, burn. Move that over there. If this dude thinks that he can... Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, wait, that is... Is that wasteland? Oh, I... Okay, it's my... It's my area. My area. It's all mine. And you... Almost could have beaten me if there was a different land there. I really wish they would have done more with this game. This game had so much potential. Yeah, it's very unique, that's for sure. Um, it definitely... Uh, definitely very unique game. I'm not gonna move him up that, actually. I just wish that they would... Like, I've learned everything I know from people in chat right now. I just wish that the tutorial just kind of explained things a little bit more. Oh, fuck yes. Okay, we have a... Uh, one of these. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and burn that. Take that out. And I'm going to move this up. One of the best Yu-Gi-Oh games. It definitely is really fun. It's the direct sequel to Forbidden Memories, but like this one is much more memorable with the music. I could set my controller down and just listen and play it for hours. Yeah, it sounds a lot like uh, Castlevania, you know? Oh, we finally got a plant. Okay. Uh, I don't have an extra... I don't think I have a better zombie in my hand, though. No. Uh, let's go ahead and bring... Yeah, let's go ahead and bring Shadow Ghoul back, since he's kind of useless in this case. And combine him with the plant. Der plant. There we go. And then we can face him up and reverse. There we go. Oh, yeah! <laughs> this is the one of the few Yu-Gi-Oh games I generally enjoyed as a child, along with Eternal Duelist Soul. I played a game on my Game Boy that I loved when I was a kid. I never, I didn't play this one, but I played a game, or I should say, I, I didn't play this one much, but I played a game on my Game Boy a lot. It was one of those games that, like, I was just obsessed with. I put my whole deck into the game, and, um, it was, it was quite good. Uh, let's go ahead, do this. Burn some cards out of my hand. Oh, yeah, the Battle City one, that's it, yep. Remind me of three monsters on the floor. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I think, um, he should be good. I don't think he has anything that can even, like, go against me, honestly. And he just moved this guy into my realm. Uh, sorry, buddy. It's one of these guys, too. Yeah, he's, he's done. He's donezo. Uh, do, do you guys really want to see the animations? I feel like you see one, you see them all. <laughs> okay, so... I have four cards on the field. I guess, um... I guess we'll just hold off right now on that. And we'll move him here. Him and Haw into this... Blocker. I've never seen that card before. Don't ever skip Pumpkin King's animation. It's a huge dishonor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. If there's a if there's a specific monster you guys want to see, just let me know. He loves to honk for his master. <laughs> Let's see what he's doing here. Okay, so we... Oh, we have another Great Mammoth of Goldfiend. Well... Just 
kind of burn out these guys and put in the Great Mammoth. Oh, I could have moved twice. That's ah, okay. We don't really need to. What I need is another plant. Summon Skull, Red Eyes Black Dragon, Blue Eyes Black Dragon. I'm sorry, Blue Eyes... Blue Eyes... I think you meant White Dragon. I'll have pretty awesome animations. Keep the Grim Reaper near me. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Hey, Chop the Dog! How you doing, buddy? Chop is now hosting. Thank you so much. Alright, so I need, I need to get the Reaper back. Hold on. I'll just move him to the side here. Yeah, because if I get a plant, uh, I'm gonna, I wouldn't want to combine them together. You're right. Uh-oh. I may end this game before he even has a chance to fucking attack. Hello. Black Skull Dragon. Shadow Eyes. GG. Use it. Oh, uh, I shouldn't use it. You're right. Well, actually, can't did I still do a... Yes, I can. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, I can't. I, it says I can, but I can't. Okay, I can't. I can't. I thought I could. Never mind. Just kidding. I'm gonna move my dragon up a little. All those cards will have to be put in attack. Oh, that's right. Oh, you're absolutely right. I'm doing good. Thank you, Chop. I remember trying to be uh, beat a friend at this and losing. Yeah, this is, um, if you don't know exactly what you're doing, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty brutal, I guess you would say. Um, I can put this here. Unfortunately, I did not get a plant, but we can burn out some cards here. Did I accidentally... I forgot to use... <laughs> Shit. That's okay. We got we got more turns. We got more turns. <laughs> I forgot to use the trap card. Hey, oops. Where's this guy think he's going? I... What, 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 what is he? Some, some kind of stupid noob? Yeah, I, I guess I really don't need him, do, do I? I almost got my dude back over here. Oh! ruh Raggy, it looks like someone's coming to party. So I need to, uh, I need the wait, though. I need the wait. So, uh, let's go ahead and put this down. And we'll bring the Reaper back around. What was that? I don't know what that was. What did that do? What was that card? I've never seen that card in my life. Bring your dragon back. Here's a good way to do this. Hey! Okay. Yeah, looks... Get rid of the Grim Reaper for Blue Eyes Silver Zombie? How do you do that? Where's my dragon? How do I get, the? Uh... Is it with this? Flip blue eyes, silver zombie. Oh, sweet. Oh, okay, okay. So, unfortunately, I don't have room in my deck right now. And then summon a plant on him. Summon blue eyes atop the reaper. Oh, that's right. I'm s uh, sorry. I'm I forget the rules sometimes. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay. Looks like he's trying to do like a little uh. Little, little move. So okay. So we need to. So you're telling me to put blue eyes silver zombie on top of him, right? Silver Zombie on top of him. Mm. 
next turn, summon run over... Okay, run over dragon with your face down gold field. Run over dragon zombie with your face down gold field. Okay. Alright, alright. I'm game. I'm game. Let's see what happens, huh? Run over the dragon with gold fiend. Okay. Okay. Summon green kappa face down, then flip blue eyes. Oh, okay. I should probably summon it over here so there's not. Okay. If I remember, you can be Yugi or Kaiba. Which one are you? Uh, no, actually, you're playing as yourself. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're playing as yourself. Alright, so we're gonna flip Blue Eyes, right? So that he can become a zombie. There we go. And then summon the plant on top. Yeah, I, okay. Yeah, I, I think I kind of got the gist of what you were saying. Um, should be okay. It's interesting that he's not attacking that card back there, but I guess he's only got 900 health points left. So. Alright, so let's go ahead and summon... Derplant. Oh yeah. Then move Green Kappa to the water and flip him face up. Okay. On the Sogan, okay. Ah, you know, I guess I'll move him wherever I can. But... This dude's probably gonna kill himself before I even get to this, honestly. <laughs> like... I guess I could, uh... Do that. Okay. I think he's weak on that zombie. Power increased. Okay, well, we can't flip him yet. He might he might be dumb enough to attack me, honestly. If that's the case, he deserves it. <laughs> okay, we made it, we made it. Okay. So we're gonna flip. Right? Flip him up. Copy attack and defense. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright. Next turn, move him. Okay. Into Wasteland. It's probably gonna be really good. <laughs> I'm ready. I mean, you know, it's pretty good. He's pretty strong. I wish he had, um... Here's what I might do, just so he can... Just so he can turn his cards face down. <laughs> or, you know, in defense mode. Because I don't, I don't want to defeat him yet, you know? Come on, change your cards, dum dum. Thank you. <laughs> change your cards, dum dum. Oh, <laughs> he's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. I gave I, I gave him a chance, guys. You know what? I'm yeah. We're just gonna we're just gonna crush him. The the dude wanted the, the just wanted it to be over. Tristan, we all know you're not a good duelist, but come on, come on. <laughs> you win.
have fun fighting the freaky fish guy. Oh yeah, uh, uh, Tsunami. What's his name? Mako Tsunami. That's. Oh, I didn't want that. Actually, I probably. Oh, oh great. If I do three of a kind, does it do something special? Ah! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh, okay. We got a leg. That is good. That is better than I th was expecting. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and save. Two can only be attained by codes. One is attained by slots. Wow. Okay, that's kind of ri that's rigged. Um, it's almost three o'clock, so let's go ahead and try and fight the. <sighs> I don't want to fight Kaiba again, please. Not Kaiba, Tristan, fuck me. Uh, but I also don't want to surrender to him. Yeah, you know. Alright. We're gonna do another pack, another card pack here. And uh, we'll move on to try and fight the next dude. Um, I'll probably be streaming for another 30 minutes or so. Um, I'm going to tune off a little bit early today. Alright, we got a card called Iron Draw. If you control exactly two machine effect monsters and no other monsters, draw two cards. For the rest of the turn, after this card resolves, you can only special summon once. You can only activate one Iron Draw per turn. That's probably not a card that I'm going to use. We got another flintlock. I accidentally took it off the thing before. We got another fucking crazy fish. Come on, give me something. Ah, finally, something. Golden Ladybug. During the standby phase, you can reveal this card in your hand, and it will remain revealed until the end of the turn, and you gain 500 life points. We got a holographic. How much does this one cost? What was it called again? Golden... Golden... Dumbass. Golden Lightning Bug costs three dollars and thirty cents. There we go. It's a pretty good card. Um, neat. Like I like the zombie cards. You know, I want more stuff for the zombie cards. But uh, I I do like collecting the cards anyway. So you guys should see my binders. I have so many cards from the first two Speed Duel boxes that um, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a lot. <laughs> Trust me, it's a lot. Alright, so let's go ahead and try and fight our friend, our nemesis, Mako. If you're looking for a boat to take you to the continent, climb aboard. Pumpkin King, don't be, don't, 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 oh. Alright, landlubber, if you want to reach the continent, you'll have to face me in a duel. Me, my name is Mako, card mercenary of... Bretonch? I still have my membership token from the 2009 World... Oh, wow, okay. That's pretty cool. At sea, you're in my element. I've been waiting for you to cross my path. I've been waiting for you! Defeat me and I'll deliver you to the shores of Boulogne. I've got nothing against you, but I've been paid well to ensure you never reach the continent, and I intend to keep my end of the bargain. Whoa! He's been paid off. This sea is my element. You have, you have not, you have, don't have a chance. All right. You came in seventeenth. That's pretty. That's pretty awesome. I mean, just to be at the competition is also pretty cool too. Oh my god. It's all water. Always has been. Always will be. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh. We got a Yumi already, so... Where is he on the map, actually? Let me see. Oh, he's right in front of me. Okay. So we should probably move this into the middle, right? Yeah, to be off. Yeah. Two up is best. Alright, gotcha, gotcha. Two up. Do I have anything I can use here? We have a Violet Crystal, which I don't want to use yet. Let's go ahead and... Just kind of burn through these three here. Just so we can have a zombie on the field. 
You can flip and move up at the same turn? Really? You can? Huh. I never noticed that. Well, we... we, we it was okay anyways. <laughs> there we go. Just don't flip and press X. Okay. That's pretty, pretty fantastic. Come on, plant. We did not get a plant. But we did get... Well, we didn't really get anything, actually, honestly. Let's go ahead and burn through some cards. Witty Phantom. Let's put Witty into here, just so we can level and can be better. We'll keep Zombie Warder near us. Okay. I'm guessing he might have, like, a Yumi card in his deck, which would negate the, the dark here. I'm, I'm wondering if he has one. Alright, so once again, we got absolute garbage. Uh, we can burn through all of these, actually. And we'll put uh, this on the field. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to move this out of the way. I use my spell card gun. It kills you all. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Burn and keep shadow. Is that even... Yeah, yeah, I, I did that. I was ahead of you. I think I was ahead of you. Whoops. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, we kept shadow. We can only use shadow. Okay. I don't want to use shadow yet, so let's just uh, skip a turn at this point. Mori Dragon plus a 1500 plus dragon uses Red Eyes back to it. You might be able to make it with a second Lesser Dragon. I don't think I have any other uh, dragons in my deck. I only have a one Lesser Dragon. Okay, so we can burn all of these. Boom, boom. Oh, I, I I don't I didn't put it in my deck though. Yeah, I didn't put it in my deck. Come on, just give me a dirt plant. That's all I want. Although he's pretty good. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and. Oh snap! I could put him on the field. Yeah, let's get him on the field. Go. And we'll keep him there for now. So next time we get um, a Yami, we'll put it probably near him, right? Come on, baby. Nothing. Although we can we can make a, a gold fiend, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And unfortunately, my violet crystal is on the wrong side, so hey, we'll move it up and we'll wait a second. What are those called? Oh my god, look at them big old bitties. Five bits again. Jesus. Thank you so much for the five bits. I appreciate it. Oh, two plants. I could use some extra plants, and we haven't seen Weevil, and I'm guessing Weevil is an evil guy. Ah, uh, we did not get anything that wrong. So let me go ahead and throw this out, put this on the field. <laughs> Witty Phantom is still there. I forgot about him. I actually... I was like, wait a second. You can get rid of basically anything that isn't a zombie or isn't worth turning into a zombie. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh-oh, it's a jellyfish! He's actually quite terrible. 
You guys want to see what the Witty Phantom does? Let's see what he does. The Witty Phantom seems pretty fun. Especially against the jellyfish. Whoa. Watch out, Witty Phantom. He's gonna make bubbles. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Hold on. I always like the Witty Phantom's design. I, I I think he's one of the cooler, like, monsters for the game. All right, lame. Lame! <laughs> the jellyfish had a better fucking animation than the Witty Phantom. He may have something better if he's moving that up. Uh, come on, plant. Well, we got a fucking insect. Ooh, I can do this, though. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oop, no, 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 no. This. And this. Found dark? No, I have not. I, we probably won't until, um... Until, uh... We get to Yugi. Okay, so let's move... Him up. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I bet Yuki is going to be a challenge. Bro, I mean, definitely. I mean, my was pretty difficult. <coughs> probably. I'll probably play through on the other side. <coughs> Maybe I'll try a different deck configuration. Although, this one is freaking sweetie swag. Alright, so we got our other, um, Yami, so let's go ahead and place that on the field. And I'm gonna take out this card. 1900 versus 700. What the hell was this? Oh, fuck, dude! Oh, shit! 11 on both sides. Dad, that is actually a really good card in this game. That's actually a really good card in this game. Look at that. Holy shit. Uh... Well... I suppose we should just take out as many enemies as we can right now and then redo our, yum, our Yami. Aqua Dragon does it better. Oh, does it? Okay. Well, I should probably be, be afraid. Do you want an Aqua Dragon? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm okay. So I should probably put Yami right where the Witty Phantom is. Or actually, we should probably put him put it right there. Yeah, if I can. I mean, he's got fucking assholes galore here. Huh? Same with uh, Green Castle. It's a it's a code that was in the original cheat books. Oh, really? Wow. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Come on, plant. That's an insect. Close. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and burn through some things here. Um. Three coats for you. Three cards for this. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing that the Witty Phantom is gonna get fucking wrecked. <laughs> oh, I can do this. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of an initiative here. You're kidding me. Roaring Ocean Snake. So that fucks everything up. That fucks a lot of things up, actually. Oh, is it every time you attack him, or just when it's flipped? This car is flipped up, transformed... Okay, it's only flipped. Gotcha. 
That's why he doesn't have Yami. Okay. Oh, and engaged in a battle? Yep. Uh, you're absolutely correct. Okay, well, that's gonna put a dent in my... my stuff here. It's already been five hours. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get Pumpkin King, I swear. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Roaring Ocean Snake. Come on. Yeah, I already did that. I already did that. Whoops. Oh, that's him. <laughs> I was like, whoa, 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 what's going on? I have Shadow Eyes. Great man with both. Oh, just give me a fucking plant, please! Oh my gosh. Alright, the burn through some more. Might be time for Green Kappa, you think? I guess I'll wait on Yami, huh? Because I don't want to waste it. He's gonna go for a zombie war. Yeah, it's right in front of him. Uh, he went for a great man with a gold fiend. I won by 100. Oh my god. Holy Moses. <laughs> oh man. That's close. That's close one. That was so close. Oh, thank God. All right, so... the music. I'm not sure what to do with my Yami, though. Someone green cap again, then blue eyes. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I should have done that before switching out my... Four cards left. Oh man, he probably knows that I'm not. Oh, he has 50 more than me. Are you fucking kidding me? That's that's bullshit. Come on. Come on. All right. Well. Okay. There we go. Sure. Damn, son. Where'd you find that? So you said I can flip and move. Okay, there we go. It's too bad I didn't do that last time. Huh? Oh, I can make a um, another pumpkin king. Hold on. Let me, uh, do this and this. He stands on water, okay. Well, that sucks. Uh, yeah, the best choice I have right now is to just power up my fucking guys until I can take out his less- his, his big boys. Green Bay Packers? The Green Bay Packers are really good this year. Um, against strong teams, they've been a little weak, like with the game before last week, or Thursday. But I think the Packers are definitely going to go deep into the playoffs again. And I, I actually was trying to... Uh, I was actually thinking that they were going to go... Um, 
to the Super Bowl this year. The only thing I, the only problem I have with that right now is because they keep losing to like, you know, you lose to, uh, you know, what's their face, you know, whoever the fuck, you know. <laughs> Yeah, he won't attack. Yes, he is, isn't he? But if he goes here, then I'm kind of screwed, huh? Which is what I'm guessing he's going to be going for. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's see. If I pull out... Yeah, I was gonna. I was thinking of pulling out Green Kappa. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna burn, burn, burn. Okay. And what I'll do is we will flip him. Okay, so that's good, that's good, that's good, okay. So now... What's he gonna do? Okay, he's just standing there now. <laughs> yeah, he's not, he's definitely not gonna attack. And, but that's the thing though, if I, uh, if I turn my dude into a zombie right now, I would... So I'm going to hold off playing a card again. Yeah, exactly. Gain, attack, and then I'll take him out with the Pumpkin King after I know that I'm going to be a way higher than his level. Yeah, I only have three cards. Yep. <laughs> yes! <laughs> 30,000... Nope, can't do that. Okay. So let's go ahead and just uh, keep pounding. I wonder if I should keep Kappa away, not uh, keep him as a regular guy so I don't have a disadvantage on water. Probably best to turn Kappa into a zombie so he can run over Hawkeye next time. You think so? Yeah, you're right, because he'll gain attack next turn and be able to overthrow him. Gotcha. You're absolutely right. I guess it's a good thing that zombies don't lose attack power on the Yamis. There we go. That'll do it. Go for it. There we go. Kappa will have to be your beater until pumpkins can terrorize the oceans without fear. <laughs> He's my beater. <laughs> Alright, so we'll keep him there for now, and then we're going to... Uh, we're going to put in Shadow Ghoul... Because they desire to honk for their master for a job well done. <laughs> Alright, so let's move him over here. Just so I can have a good defense. It looks like he's starting to... Yeah, he's starting to go on the defensive now, huh? I need to remember that Yami is increasing my attack power. So we just need to hold out until... Yeah, until we get enough to... 
wreak some havoc here. I might move my pumpkins up one and then we'll miss out on a single a single level up just so I can kind of have this line here wait until he's 4500 okay gotcha because he's a zombie and he's stronger that's right okay so let's go ahead and change you to defense he still has 22 cars. Who knows what the hell he has up his sleeve? Hey, go with a joke. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this back into water eventually. Hold the joke, baby! <laughs> Almost there, huh? <laughs> he keeps moving that back and forth. It must be like a magic card. How the AI had to touch everything. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of uh, like Civilization or something like that. Yep, yeah, moving back up, moving up in the world. All right. I just want to see what my card's gonna be at if I go off. Okay, so that's actually pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and move him up like that. He's gonna. I'm gonna keep him at bay for a moment. To the east side, to the deluxe apartment in the sky. It's a fish! You absolute moron! You're about to kill your- He's about to kill himself. I think so. If it's more than- Oh, he has 50 life points left. Or 500, I mean. Oh, you absolute moron! <laughs> oh, wow. That's funny. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and attack. It's just a crazy fish. Hey! Crazy fish! We have that card! We have that card! Nice. I only have one in my way. If I move him up, he loses a little bit of points. I think he actually should be okay, so let's go ahead and do that. He's not gonna move that other card into defense mode? Okay, he's moving away. Let's put the card down. Yeah, he did, okay. It's a trap. <laughs> I'm about to I'm about to trap this dude. What does he got? What was that? Okay, so it's the Yep, okay. That's no, fine. We are we are well equipped right now. My zombies can walk underwater, okay? Violent rain sounds like what happened last week. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Yep, easy peasy, bottom dweller, huh? More like graveyard dweller.
I know, Sully, I know. Bad job. So he's gonna have to, yep, eliminate his own card, and then... He's got something there. Okay. level up again, you know? <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. That was a bad idea, dude. Um, is he gonna keep that card in attack mode? Oh. <laughs> About to say, man. <laughs> I, know, I know you're a fisherman, and I don't think fishermen are stupid, but that would've been a pretty stupid move. Another crazy fish! No, it's a high tide goyjin. Those things infested my fucking box for the uh, original um, speed duels packs. They were everywhere because the uh, the box was like themed to Mako Tsunami. Oh, look what he just did! Too bad I'm gonna fuck you up anyways. <laughs> See ya. I'm, yeah, I'm in the driver's seat for sure. Attack with the pumpkins? You think I should? Alright, pumpkin boys. I'm kind of leaving myself open to attack. Well, I guess he's... I could catch up to him if he does that. Uh, if I move my Pumpkin King up, that's gonna be end the game, so I need to be careful not to end the game before I want to, you know? So. I'm gonna go ahead and take out. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Mako's like, just end it, please! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm evil! Alright, let's go here. I don't want one of them to get away, you know? That's the one thing. I don't want one of them, like, just go away. Okay. Uh-huh, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and do this guy. And we'll do the animation for you guys. What the hell is that thing? Eh, it looks like my Uncle Fester, eh? <laughs> Come on, Pumpkin King. What's he doing? He's doing some... Oh, he's doing the barf. Or the, the, the gas. The noxious gas. Nothing can survive that. I'll tell you what. Not even my Uncle Fester. Wow, he's just keeping those where they are, huh? Well, I mean, it was pretty much over. Here, we got another guy to, to, to fight here. Hold on. Aqua Dragon. You have to play it till the end? Alright, alright. All right. I, got, I, got, uh, I got too impatient. The Pumpkin King. Aqua Dragon reminds me of Charizard. Yeah, a little bit, actually, huh? If Charizard was a water Pokemon?
<laughs> Victory Screech. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> All right. Do I keep toying with him? No. You know, he's going to start moving his shit everywhere. I'm just going to take him out now. Let's go ahead and do that. My pumpkin. Oh, is that the... It's uh, Yeah, it's the mermaid, uh, red archery girl. Sorry, lady. Oh, at least, at least you died on the plains, right? <laughs> yeah, this is what Callus wants to do to, uh, to the, um, to, uh, Dark Magician Girl. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, dang, that's brutal. That's why you can't ever skip Pumpkin King's celebratory hug. <laughs> If someone turns me into Pumpkin King, I'd love him for it. There he is. Hell, I was the Pumpkin King during Halloween, right? Alright, so that should be game over for him, because I'm going to move into that spot. And uh, that's going to be it, right? Oh no, because he still has a card. No, wait, that is the end. Yeah, that's the end. You win! Why didn't anyone tell me about her? Wait, who's that mermaid? She's weak AF. If you want a real waifu, tune uh, Red Archery Girl is what you want to look for. Pumpkin King, the king of ghosts, has been promoted! Now that's very hard. And we just did that in one go! Uh, let me do this first. Uh, I don't want a Yami card, please. Give me, uh, whatever this is. Okay, a trident. I'll take it. That dude, I don't care. Hey, we got a crazy fish! Alright! It's crazy taxi for the seasoned gamer! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Mako's Tsunami. Uh, you're something else. I never dreamed I'd lose a duel on the sea. That's because you suck. I guess a promise is a promise. I'll deliver you to the shores of Boulogne. Are those the plant cards that I... Okay. Success! You've entered France! Oh, he didn't give me a card, though. Ah, uh, what a bastard. Three more codes. Get rid of the insects and other cards you burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Joey Wheeler! Oh! I'm gonna kill Joey. <laughs> Alright, so let's take out... Where are those insects at? The really sucky ones. What's this guy? What's this guy? Yeah, he's just... Okay, take him out. We'll keep Skullbird in there right now. Basic insect, goodbye, and... Yeah, uh... Let me see if there's an even worse... Yeah, definitely take that out. That guy scares me, actually. <laughs> Three, you. Uh, D. Six. Seven. S. -O. Hey, another plant. My favorite. Well, not my favorite, but you understand. Is that an O or a zero? I guess we'll find out, huh? We got, uh... Oh, wow, that's a derp... That's a derplant. <laughs> that's a good derplant. <laughs> and here, replace that last insect. Oh, yeah, yeah, I should definitely do that. Huh? Honestly, I had all these cards when I was a kid. So, it's not technically cheating? Oops. 
wrong way. Oh, nice. Wait. There we go. Okay. Where is that last insect? There he is. Uh, so long, Gay Bowser. Wee woo, wee woo. <laughs> I'm not cheating. I'm being tactical. this megamorph I actually don't know increase the power of every monster oh, okay okay yeah that's good I'm not cheating I'm being tackled exactly Callus come on <laughs> all right so that's gonna be it for this stream today it was a lot of fun I'm really enjoying the game after we learn the basics of the game, I think that it just, it, it definitely got a lot better. So, uh, Monday, we'll come back, um, around, like, three or four-ish Eastern time, and we'll power, we'll, we'll punch Joey in the face and see how far we can get. I did save, right? I'm gonna save again just because. Let's go, I have one more pack to open for beating Mako Tsunami. So let's go ahead and do that. Punch him in the face and steal his red eyes. Exactly. After the tutorial, I didn't teach you the basics. Glad chat was able to... Yes. Thank you so much to everyone who's been helping in chat. Um, it's been really, really helpful. It really has been. Hey, Poppy Fubar. How are you doing today? We're opening up our last Yu-Gi-Oh! pack of the day. Unless someone else redeems it. So we got another helping robo for for battle, which I like this card. That's a new one. Uh, Black Magic Ritual. Oh, this is for um, somebody the Magician of Chaos, which is I think in this deck, or maybe that's in this this the yeah. Uh, this card just summons the the extra powerful Dark Magician. Hey, we we know this guy. Did you guys know that they changed him to be an effect card? You choose the attack targets for your opponent's attacks. Oh, oh, oh my god, that's a great card. <laughs> and on the end, we got the Ancient Brain. Oh boy, oh boy. A fallen fairy that has a po uh, is powerful in the dark. That this, this is actually a real good one. This one right here, that's actually really good. There we go. How much does... I feel like per, per t practitioner of dark. He's only fifteen cents, guys. <laughs> he's only fifteen cents. Chocolate magician girl, high priestess, priestess of prophecy, magician, Eurydite Junin. I'm diving into the whole world of waifus here. There was a whole uh, deck centered around uh, Mai, and she has a lot of uh, you know scantily clad women in there. So uh, the best thing we got today was called Golden Ladybug. Can't really see. It was the only holographic we got today. But uh, we still have a whole box to go through, so I'm not afraid. And we really, I mean, we've had a few doubles here, or triples and quads. But honestly, it's not too bad. And some of these cards are actually going to boost my uh, zombie deck, so that's going to be good. I'm definitely going to be putting some of these in my zombie deck. Yeah, Practic Practitioner of Darkness is going to be really good. That's a Duelist of the Rose pack opening. I I actually, um, on YouTube, I have um, something kind of similar. I forget what it was called, but there was a My Legendary Duelist deck that came out. Or deck uh, box, and I did that one. 
A code for Meteor... I actually have Meteor Dragon in the Speed Duels deck. Yeah, I think uh, we're going to be good for today. I'm actually... I actually really like uh, how the deck's coming together, huh? I know, it's like, oh, yummy, but she didn't really do anything. Shadow Eyes. I wonder if I should just take Shadow Eyes out of here. Living Vase we need. Statue Ely Styling. Select any card, something close to 15 DC if you want another limb. And press L3 in the chest. Okay. Let's see. Something close to 15. Uh, we we'll keep Harpy's pet dragon. We need something that's not in our deck. We could do Zanki. Would Zanki work? What about Leo Gun? Leo Gun, definitely Leo Gun. Yeah, L3. Reincarnation! Alright, see you, Luxer. Thank you so much for joining the stream, and uh, I hope to see you next time. We got Tiger Axe! And. Oh! Illusionist Faceless Mage! I remember that card. How fun! And a Hunter Spider. Where's that new mage? Is this, um... When this card is flipped face up in battle, Spellbind... Spellbind's opposing monsters for three turns. Oh, wow! Okay, we're definitely putting that in our deck. Let's go ahead and take out, uh... East, uh, let's take out this and put this in. That was good. He has 220 defense, though. And I think that he'll be a good defense if we get fucked, you know. And plus, when he flips over, he can stun the opponents for how many turns? So we could, we could, it's almost like, uh, Swords of Revealing Light, you know? Not too shabby. And let's go ahead and make sure we save. Don't forget to save. Alright, so now it's officially the end of the stream here, guys. Let's go ahead and find someone to raid. Find someone to raid. Twitch. Let's see. We got uh, Confused Cultist, Colby Cobe, Briar Lacroix, Kinky Slinky. I don't know who that is. Just me Dash. Let's go ahead and raid. Um, let's raid Briar, huh? He's a cool dude. Fan of a uh, fan of us. Yeah, sorry, Poppy. I've been streaming for uh, almost six hours now, so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna head out and probably play some Last of Us tonight. But I really do appreciate everyone who came to the stream. A big thank you to Ink Zorath for all the tips and hints today. Uh, thank you also to Poppy who came by, Callus, Lukester, Ninja Zero. Um, um, who else came by? Chop, Chop the Dog. Uh, player two, Coco Gamer, Marie. Um, who else came by? Oh, I reached the top of my list. Educator Gamer. Uh, Spencer. Spencer came by. Um, I I know that there were a few other people. I unfortunately I can't see that far up in my chat. Um, if I forgot your name, I do apologize, but I do thank you, everyone, for the help today. Uh, we're definitely having a lot more fun with the game now that we know how to play it, right? So I do appreciate it, and uh, I really, I really do appreciate it. Um, so if you want to, you can join my Discord if you want to interact with me there. Also, people who join the Discord get uh, special access to vote on the next games we play. Um, and if you want to follow me on Twitter, at Yemi the Ferret. And uh, thank you to Ink Zorath for the 15, or I'm sorry, the 10 bits that he donated today. Uh, thank you to Educated Gamer for the five. Oh, I'm sorry, he did do 15, 15 bits. Uh, thank you to uh, Educated Gamer for the five bits, Midget Gamer for the rate of four, uh, Chaos Dueler and Ink Zorath for the follow, and also Chop Marie and Ninja Zero and Callus for the host today. Uh, I do really appreciate it. So, um, if you guys want to follow me on the raid, we're going to go ahead and raid Briar Lacroix, who was actually in the stream earlier today. He plays a lot of the, uh, well, interesting games. Briar Lacroix. There we 
go. Hashtag is Ferret Raid if you want to join in the raid. Uh, once again, guys, really appreciate it. I'll be back Monday around 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time whenever I get off of work. We'll play more of this. We'll probably be playing this for uh, probably the rest of the week, honestly. Um, if, especially if there's two sides to the story. We definitely want to do both. So once again, thank you guys. I'm Yummy the Ferret, and I'm out of here. Bye bye